Hello, friends. Hello, hello. Goodness me. Wonderful to see you all. Uh, figuratively speaking, wonderful to see your usernames in the chat. Wonderful to see Thoric329 with a 62 month resub kicking off the start of the stream. Thoric is very early for you. Thoric usually rolls in pretty late in the stream, but, and I, I, I know I'm late uh, getting started, but I don't think I'm quite that late. So, uh, uh, definitely Thorax early tonight, but with the 62 month resub, uh, I forgive him. I forgive him. Uh, Thorax, <laughs> thank you for 62 months of chilling with us here. Very much appreciated. Thank you for being an amazing part of this community for so dang long. So dang long. Um, and that goes for so many other folks here. Look at all these wonderful names, these wonderful people in the chat here. Speaking of early resubs, a shout out to Pearls. Pearls was certified first tonight. Pearls coming in with that 31 month resub before I'd even started this stream. Pearls, congratulations on certified first and thank you for continuing to be an amazing part of what we have here. I hope you are doing well. Uh, I know uh, the other week you were looking for you know, some some comfort, something cozy, a nice uh, place to, you know, uh, de-stress and whatnot. But I, I hope things are going well for you. And they just keep rolling on in. Churchy, what's up, Churchy? With that 31-month resub as well, perfectly tied with pearls. Uh, same number of months on the same night. That's pretty remarkable, actually. That's pretty remarkable. Uh, which anniversary is this one, aside from 31? That would be, I don't know what, that's coming up on three years? Getting pretty close, getting pretty close. Uh, Churchy, thank you for being amazing. Thank you for your incredible support for all this time. And, uh, I hope you're doing great. I hope everybody here is doing great. Uh, I mean, obviously I do. But, um, especially because I haven't streamed for a little while, y'all. It's been a week and a half, I want to say. week and a half. Daniel Evans, thank you for subscribing on YouTube. I don't know if you're watching right now, but uh, either way, thanks. Um, yeah, because it's been a busy couple of weeks for me. It's been crazy. I missed uh, last Sunday as well as last Thursday, um, and y'all know, I mean, I don't like to miss any streams, but the Thursday streams these days are what I consider flexible, uh, so missing those is not unprecedented. Missing Sundays, I rarely do, unless there's like a holiday or some, you know, really good reason, but it's past Sunday. I was busy. <laughs> I was busy with work stuff. Uh, as I have been for the last week and a half. It's been uh, all my spare time going into trying to get revisions completed on a, a paper, a manuscript, they call it, which is like, you know, what you write for a, a peer-reviewed scientific paper. You submit it to a journal. They either, well, they send it out to reviewers, uh, who are peers in your field, who are experts, presumably, and they, you know, assess it, and they say yes or no, or maybe, uh, maybe is the most common, and, um, and so, yeah, I got back the, the feedback from the reviewers, and then it's kind of all hands on deck to get that prepared and, or revised, and then resubmit it to the journal, and then hopefully the editor at the journal says, yes, after these changes, we'll publish a paper. Um, but there's been some time pressure to get that done the past week and a half, and that is why I did not stream on Sunday or last Thursday. But we are here now. We are all here now, and that is awesome. You know what else is awesome? Freaking Rexo. 
Rexo with that six months or you said Rexo, thank you for coming back in. Happy half year anniversary. I hope you enjoy your brand new subscription badge with our boy Inigo wearing a very fine circlet. Um, and I hope you continue to enjoy your subscription benefits. Thanks for being a part of this community for a long time, more than just that six months would suggest. Um, always awesome to see you, Rexo. How you doing? How you doing? Um, also, Rabiolo69, thank you for the follow. Uh, wonderful to have you here with us, too. Um, all right. Uh, this is, of course, once again, a multi-stream going out to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Man, isn't, isn't modern technology amazing? Uh, and so, a uh, shout out to our YouTube viewers as well. I see Gracie B ASMR over there with the certified YouTube first. Gracie, always a pleasure to have you here. I hope you're doing great. Hope the new year's continuing to treat you well. Shout out to Gracie, by the way. She does ASMR over on YouTube. As her name would suggest, go check it out. Good, tingly, wholesome stuff. Gracie's great. No cap, what is up? Welcome. <laughs> Anonymous. Oh my gosh, the couch. Um, yes, the couch is taken care of. But the fridge... <laughs> TNS4 says, the couch and the fridge, I want to hear how the fridge saga ended. The fridge saga is not yet over, you guys. It's not yet over. It's not ended. Also, Sparrow86, hello over on YouTube. Hello and welcome. Uh, also, over on Twitch, we've got a certified second going to Bruce. Bruce, congratulations. Uh, not quite in the, the first slot there but uh, a well-earned second place. And Melanetti claiming second, but actually third, because <laughs> Pearls was in here so early tonight. <laughs> but shout out to Melanetti for a very well-deserved third. Also, shout out to Melanetti for being awesome, for being an awesome creator and streamer over on Twitch as well. She does uh, chill and ASMR-ish gaming definitely go check her out definitely hit that follow support an amazing uh, member of this community and uh, enjoy some great chill gaming vibes from Melanati uh, she and Gracie also keeping an eye on the chat here making sure that all of you all of you are well behaved I hope you are I hope you're not planning on getting up to any shenanigans tonight dear friends no shenanigans <laughs> John Wismiller definitely getting up to shenanigans, so John with the 29-month resub, the greatest shenanigan of them all. Uh, John, how you doing? Great to see you. Great to see you. Uh, John says, such a special thing to be part of this community. Aw, John. Uh, thank you for welcoming me all. Yeah, I'm so... I'm, uh, English words. Thank you for welcoming me all. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that I was able to get that sentence out. John, thank you for being such an incredibly positive, uplifting, enthusiastic, good vibes part of this community and what we have here. Uh, I love seeing you in the chat. I love the energy you bring. Uh, and we are all so grateful to have you here too. And thank you for the 29 month resub. The 29 month resub. It means a lot to me. Thank you for continuing to support uh what i do here what we have here for all this time it's very very kind of you very very kind uh as you all can see probably we're gonna play some dungeon siege tonight some dungeon siege i streamed this about a month ago and uh or a little bit less i guess like three weeks ago or something like that i don't know what is time um and it was, it was good fun. This is kind of a guilty pleasure game to stream for me because I know most people don't know it, uh, but it's a favorite of mine. It's a very comfy, cozy, early 2000s RPG that uh, I just like. It makes me feel comfy, um, and uh, it's very nostalgic for me, but 
I think some of y'all have come to enjoy it as well as we go on our, our journey here through the world of Ebb, which we will get to in a little bit, but y'all also know how we roll around here, which is to say, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta read through all the chat, I like to read everything you say, I like to reply to everybody if I can, and uh, that usually takes me a little while, so we will get to the game eventually, but I want to catch up with y'all because it's been a little while. Um, who else we got here? Greppel, what's up? I am, in fact, back. I am, in fact, back. And thank you all for being here. Uh, Thursday nights, I know, are not always most convenient for everyone, but uh, I was able to make it work tonight, so it's great to see you all. Greppel included. Mr. Rogers Sweater, hello, welcome. And some Dashing Princess, hello and welcome. Also, aka Orange Slice over in the other chat, the YouTube chat. Uh, Handsome Dashing Princess, I saw that you uh, messaged me about uh, the secret project. It's not that secret, but uh, over on Discord. Uh, I haven't had a chance to read your, your messages yet, but I'll check them out after the stream. And I appreciate you continuing to follow up on that. Thank you. I'm excited for that. Uh, Gorog, what is up? Wait, I skipped over Naga. I'm sorry, Naga. How could I do? Naga, fantastic to see you. What's new in Naga land? How are things? Uh, and Gorog, hello. Also wonderful to see you. Hey, you got your holiday card. I would expect that you would be one of the first to get yours, Gorog. So I'm glad you got it last week. Excellent. Uh, as you all know, well, maybe not all, but as I've said a couple of times, uh, the holiday cards are out in the world. I have received word from a few people now that they have been received, and also from a few other people that they have not received them yet. <laughs> so it's the luck of the draw, I guess, depending on your, your mail people. How, uh, how quick they are to get that card to you. But uh, if you received your card, if you were expecting one and you received one, I'd love to hear uh, you know who they're arriving for. Uh, and I do hope you all enjoy them. Gorod, what did you think about the art on this year's card? What did you think? Grapple says, Nick, did you end up seeing the AGDQ run of Thief? I did not with some of the tech they showed it was pretty rad i have not had a chance to check that out that does sound cool i hadn't even heard that they were i, I mean i guess it makes sense that they would speed run thief for agdq uh but that's cool i've never tuned into any of that before that's awesome i'll have to check it out uh melanati who dis indeed eat that boy eat that boy just like rebel says Churchy says, it's Thursday, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. Um, yeah, I was, part of me was considering <laughs> maybe, uh, you know, skipping another stream here because I've technically not done my revisions on this paper yet. Uh, and I do have more to go. But you know what I said? Screw it. Screw it. The revisions will get done maybe a little later than they otherwise would, but I'd already missed two streams in a row. I didn't want to miss a third. I was missing you guys. So, so here we are on a Thursday. Goaded Vic, what is up? How you doing? Uh, Brass Jacks, howdy. Brass Jacks says, hey Nick, I'm glad I decided to stay up late to get to the stream. I am too. How's your year been going, Brass Jacks? What's new with you? Season 3 of Fridge Saga is real, says Grandpa. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yeah, let me... Okay, so, well, the, there's not that much more to the saga other than the fact that the new fridge was supposed to be delivered today. So, uh, last Sunday, I had to wrestle out the old fridge, and that was a nightmare. Was that last Thursday? When was that? I think it was Sunday. And um, 
and that thing is it was heavy heavy uh, even though I took the doors off the fridge and took out all the trays and dra drawers and everything it was still super heavy uh, and we live like in a basement suite uh, like on the side of a hill um, and so we like to get up to street level we have to go up a long flight of stairs uh, on the outside and so uh, wrestling this this fridge up this flight of stairs uh, was uh, quite the effort, a fairly titanic effort. And uh, just to make things a little more uh, scary, um, up near the top of the stairs, the, the railing is like glass. It's like a metal frame with like glass panes. And we kept like almost like having the fridge like tip into the glass or like get the corner bumping into the glass, which would have been a disaster so anyway eventually I, we did get the old fridge um up there and the new fridge was supposed to arrive today but we have recently received a big dump of snow here a big dump of snow and so last night i was out shoveling making sure that they path down and into uh, our suite here uh, you know, from the, the street basically was as clear as possible to ensure that, you know, the delivery people could come and because uh, they're supposed to bring the fridge in and actually install it. Uh, we got it from Costco and apparently that's, that's a service they offer. Um, not that it takes much to install, but like they bring it down, they put it in place, you know, get it all set up, which is nice. Um, and yeah, so I spent all that time doing a bunch of shoveling and sanding and whatnot uh with the intention that they would bring it in today and that it wasn't supposed to snow anymore really or not very much if at all but typically typically it snowed uh overnight and this morning and all afternoon and so now there's a bunch more snow out there and they called and said sorry <laughs> but we're not gonna deliver there's too much snow it's too dangerous uh, for us to transport this fridge to you uh as i said we do live on a hill so like getting up the hill when it's snowy and icy out is a very dicey proposition uh and so i guess for that reason and then also not wanting to move it down the stairs in the snow despite the fact that i did my best i did my best to clear it for them but anyway delivery has been rescheduled for a week from now a week from now so the cursed fridge story continues we are not allowed to have a fridge it's simply not possible something has shifted in the composition of the universe that prevents us from possessing a full-size fridge uh, honestly i'm fully expecting something to come up next week some insane thing to happen it's like i can't bring the fridge sorry dude <laughs> but we'll see we'll see anyway that is fridge update uh the fridge saga season three tune in next week for season four <laughs> and we'll see if it comes to a conclusion one way or another the broken fridge put a curse on you before it died it really did with its dying breath it will wheezed out a curse such that I might never possess a fridge ever again. Oi. Oi. But other than being unreasonably busy and not having a proper fridge, uh, everything's otherwise been going fine. Been going fine. And you know what? I don't mind the snow most of the time. We don't get snow here very often. Like, a couple times a year, if that. And so it's kind of nice, it's quaint to have snow here. Um, and as long as I can stay inside and just enjoy it from the inside, then that's fine by me. But I am a little annoyed with it right now for preventing the fridge delivery, I must admit. But Dungeon Siege has some really lovely snowy areas. And uh, where we left off last time, we were in a very pretty snowy zone. Uh, so that's kind of why I wanted to play it tonight 
I have memories of playing Dungeon Siege when I was just a wee lad. Well, I don't know, like, I guess an early teen, a tween. Yeah, I would have been 14 or something. Um, I guess that's a teen. And, uh, and I remember it was like, I was in the snowy areas in the game, and it wasn't snowing outside, but when I, like, stopped playing, I just, I had this feeling like it was snowing outside, because the game, like, drew me in so much that I forgot that it wasn't snowy outside. This game hits the snowy vibes so well. So well. Should be cozy when we get to it. Um, yo, Time Man, what's up? Hello. Sorry I took so long to get to your message in the YouTube chat. It's good to see you. Welcome. Uh, Gracie says, I can't promise anything, Nick. I'm a natural shenanigator. <laughs> a shenanigator just sounds like a very rowdy alligator. We have many shenanigators that uh, frequent this chat, for sure. Uh, Nightly ASMR, wonderful to see you as well. I am, in fact, back. Nightly ASMR, aka Nightly Romulus, over in the Twitch chat, has a YouTube channel with some awesome ASMR over on the YouTube side. Go check it out. Go enjoy some soft-spoken readings of mythologies, uh, some really good, relaxing stuff. TNS4 asks if I have a special beer tonight. You know it. You know it. Wouldn't be a proper Nick stream without a special beer. Tonight's beer is from Lillouette Brewing. Lillouette Brewing. Lillouette is a small town uh, in the interior of British Columbia. Uh, it's just the other side of the Coast Mountain basically um, in sort of south central BC and it is somewhere that I've not spent a lot of time but I've driven through I want to say a couple times probably but I've never had any beer from there so uh, they have a beer called Mountain Bluebird which is a Belgian wit a Belgian wit which is a wheat beer uh, which should be nice probably nice and light and, you know, sort of citrusy as those ones are, a little sweet. So hopefully that's nice. I'll try that out a bit later. It's got some kind of cute art with a couple of bluebirds on it. Hey, look, we've just resubbed. Soundless welcome. Soundless storm with the 19-month resub. Soundless, always a pleasure to see you back. It has, in fact, been a while. I hope you've been keeping well. Welcome back on in. Shout out. Shout out to Soundless Storm. Uh, it's great to see you. Thank you again for a resub, for that kind support, for joining us here as well tonight. Um, uh, that Betch says, a warm beer because no fridge. So we do have a small fridge. It's like a, not, it's a bit bigger than a bar fridge. Well, it's bigger than a bar fridge but smaller than a normal size fridge. We went, uh, and we picked it up from Costco because we needed something, you know, to store stuff in, especially since it's been weeks. Um, and it's, it's nice because once it's done being our makeshift fridge, it can actually be a freezer as well. So it'll just become like a deep freeze, like a backup freezer for us. Uh, you can kind of, there's a dial you can turn that'll, switch it from one to the other so we do in fact have a smallish fridge uh so i can't i can't complain too much but i was able to put the beer in there fit the beer in because it wouldn't do it to have a warm beer for stream that would be no good um melanie says blasphemy what having a a non-shenanigan full stream is blasphemy. I think it's also impossible. Shenanigans will ensue one way or another, no matter what I do, despite my best efforts. Uh, Kiru Celeste says, Hey Nick, your postcard arrived, yay! 
never seen a Canadian stamp before. I had to stick it on the card as a keepsake. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, because I send the cards in an envelope. So, yeah, it's not like a postcard where the stamp's on the card itself. Um, I'm glad you liked uh, the post car or the postage stamp. <laughs> I hope you like the card as well, both the art and the words on it. Uh, but I'm glad it showed up for you. It's so funny how it can end up like it's the the difference in like it can end up on the other side of the world, but in that same time, it doesn't even make it over to Washington State. Like I was talking to our our friend Drake. Y'all know Drake. Um, and he's expecting a cart from me and he lives not that far away just the other side of the border basically and yet he has not received the cart yet <laughs> but like uh, some of y'all are much further away have so it's it's funny there's no rhyme, no reason to it it seems Odinson with the wait for it three year subversary Odinson 36 months, that's three freaking years Holy cow. How are you, my dude? It has been a little bit. What's up with you these days? How you doing? I hope you're doing great. Shout out to Odinson, by the way. Odinson produces awesome music of a variety of genres. Uh, and uh, it's all real good. Go check out check out Odinson's stuff, y'all. Um, as well as, oh, as well as ASMR. Odinson also has some ASMR up on his YouTube channel. Uh, I actually haven't seen if you've uploaded anything else recently, Odinson, but uh, he has a really relaxing video paging through the, I'm trying to remember if it was the Player's Handbook or the Dungeon Master's Guide, but one or the other. Uh, but some good relaxing stuff. Go check it out, y'all. Uh, and happy 36 month anniversary once again. Thank you for being an awesome part of this community for three amazing years, Odinson. Um, Odinson also very kindly supports over on my Patreon. If any of you ever make it to the end of my YouTube videos, shout out to the patron thanks gang. You would know that Odinson gets a shout out in every single one of my videos for being an amazing Foos Road uh, tier supporter. Odin said, did you vote in this month's uh, poll for the video choice? I know some folks did. I don't know if you were one of them. I don't get to see who it is. And Ifeno, what is up with these 16 month resub? Ifeno's been around here for a very long time and also an awesome part of this community. Ifeno, thank you for your amazing support. Um, and it is my pleasure. You are most welcome for all the content and the vibes. Thanks for being a part of it. Um, where did I get to in the chat? Chat's actually pretty chill today, honestly. Uh, I am falling behind even though I shouldn't be. Navy, hey, what's up Navy? Navy says he does exist. I do, I do, I do. Even though I'm running a million miles behind. Uh, Navy also streams on Twitch, y'all, and also has some ASMR uh, up on their YouTube channel. What's up with that? Why do we have so many great creators around here? It's pretty cool. Uh, but go check out Navy. Maybe follow here on Twitch. Support an awesome member of this community. And check out Navy's YouTube. Uh, Navy did a Final Fantasy XIV uh, house uh, player housing tour, which I really enjoyed. Uh, John says, thank you, Nick. I'm doing all right. Made a big decision to leave something I was pursuing for three years. That is a tough choice. I'm sure that took a lot of courage. Uh, I think I'm just feeling the shock of it. It was kind of all I'd imagined for myself. That's tough when you you know, change course and you end up letting go of one dream to pursue something else. That, that's always, that's always tough. I just realized I was pursuing it for the wrong reasons and I think the people
people that made me want to do it started to show their true colors, and I didn't want to be like them. Interesting. But that's sometimes how it is, you know? You, you get into a thing, you start doing it, and you realize it's it's not quite what you imagined, or, or the people aren't quite who you imagined. That's very true. It's just very different and surreal. Any advice on changing your mind about things you were sure of? Advice. I think the biggest thing for me uh, is, and, and, you know, take this with a grain of salt as always, but it really helps me to remind myself that in t no time is ever wasted. You know, the skills you developed, the connections you made, the growth you had, uh, you made as a, as a person, all of that uh, it comes together to be more than the sum of its parts. And even if you can't see the direct linkage between what you were doing and what you're now pursuing, it is nonetheless all uh, useful, uh, you know, helpful, it's all valuable. So, um, I know it can be really easy to think, oh, I wasted my time on this, or I wasted all these years on this or that or whatever, but it's not wasted. Uh, it all has come together to make you who you are now, which is a more capable, um, you know, uh, able person than you were three years ago. So that would be my my little piece of advice, is try not to beat yourself up and think about wait, having wasted time, because you haven't, you know, it all... It all comes together into who you are and what, what you can um, offer, you know. So, yo, what is this? What is this? I said, oh, oh my lordy, holy smokes. I found him coming in with the 10 gift subs out of the blue for 10 amazing people. Look at these names. We've got some fantastically deserving folks here getting some wonderful gift subs courtesy of Ifeno. Uh, Ifeno, that is beyond kind. Beyond kind. Thank you for that sub bomb. That sub gift bomb to Johanna. Johanna. To Chronic. Yo. To Ilk. To Creeper Cats. To Lenate. To the Gugger. To No Skills 90, to Asher Soup, I think, I think it's Asher Soup, not Asher Soup, although I've never been quite sure, uh, to Livy, and to the Malbec. Uh, some amazing folks, some fantastic, uh, long time members of this community, uh, getting some uh, well-deserved good karma. Uh, with those gift subs for my Feno. My Feno, thank you again. That is huge. I appreciate your kindness, your support uh, for the, for this place we have and the people that hang out here, uh, myself included. So uh, thank you for making my night, making the night of all those awesome folks so they can enjoy this stream to its fullest and continue to do so for the next month subs um and following up on that john john <laughs> gifting a sub to nubas 89 nubas 89 nubas 89 welcome on into the sub club i think all those folks who just got gifted subs probably know what the the subscription uh situation entails but just in case you don't it means that you get access to all of our emotes, some of which are ridiculous. Well, not all of them, but most of them, like the vast majority. Uh, some of them are spinning potatoes, uh, which is always, you know, always fun. Uh, you get uh, faster channel points, which you can then spend on channel point redemptions. Uh, you can enjoy the stream ad-free, amongst some other things. I don't know what else does subscription get you ever get. But those things, those are good things for sure. Uh, Odinson also with the 510 bits. What is up, Odinson? 
Odinson, thank you for the cheer, for that shout out. Thank you for the five, ten biddies. And somehow, somehow, uh, the hype train isn't yet coming to town. That's shocking to me, given that we just had a giant pile of subs and stuff. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the hype, I haven't, we haven't seen the hype train for a while. Maybe they changed the way it works. I'm not sure. But thank you. Thank you. Hype train or not, uh, I appreciate it so very much, y'all. Thank you for the kindness, the kindness. Um, and 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 and, where am I here? Where was I in the chat before all that excitement? I think I got to. Churchy saying and home delivery slash setup, it is so worth it for big stuff like that. 100%. Getting the old fridge out was a pain enough. And the uh, guys, when they come get the new fridge, are supposed to take the old one. But, and maybe they could have taken it out of our place here and lugged it up the steps, but I didn't want to risk it. I didn't want them to be like, actually, no. You know, we won't take it that far or whatever, so I wanted to get it up there, uh, you know, ahead of time. Turns out now it's just sitting there for a while, but what can you do? It's Taco! Howdy, Taco! Welcome on in, how you doing? What is new? What is new? Uh, Leon 99, I have a fact plate king. Uh, not that far into it, but I did enjoy what I played. Yo, is Warhorse working on a sequel to that? Is there a Kingdom Come 2 in the works? I haven't heard anything from Warhorse Studios for a long time. Sargon, greetings. Great to see you. Welcome. Uh, whoa, Mike. What's up? Well, Mike says, hey, Nick, been a while. Happy 2024. I hope all is going well in your life. Generally speaking, yes. Thank you, well, Mike. <laughs> Happy New Year to you, too. Uh, yes, generally. Generally, things are going well. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Nix knows nothing. Uh, hello, hello, Nix. Says, hi, I just got here. What did I miss? Nevi replies, season three of the Cursed Fridge Saga. It's true. It's true. Um, yeah, the fridge saga continues. I'm thinking about shifting, actually, becoming a, um, just a fridge streamer. <laughs> just talking about fridges, you know, fridge specialist. Be the coolest streamer around. Uh, hey, look who it is. Is Blacktooth Bob. What's up, Bob? Uh, good to see you. Bob says, couldn't say hi earlier and not stop by. Bob, welcome on in. Feel free to hang out. Feel free to, uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Lurk, if you like. Uh, it is good to see you. Um, and I hope you are doing well in Guild Wars 2 and elsewhere. Um, Bob was messaging me earlier. <laughs> uh, some pretty, pretty amazing stuff. Y'all know that I play Guild Wars 2, or maybe y'all don't, but many of you do. We, at one point, had a little group uh, in our community here that would occasionally get together on Guild Wars and do guild things. That was pretty fun. Uh, my Bob was part of spearheading that, but, uh, you know, Bob cleared some extremely challenging content, which I would never even, like, imagine uh, attempting, because I, I'm extremely casual. Uh, when I when I play any MMO, really, that's just how I roll. Um, Nagus is great. Creators tend to attract more great creators. Well, well, I don't want to take credit for anything for the great creators we have here. Uh, but it is sure nice that we have so many awesome folks here. Uh, over in the YouTube chat, Anth, hello Anth, welcome. TNS forces, I tried a new hazy tonight called Bat Squatch. I've had Bat Squatch. Bat Squatch is from, uh, at the Portland Brewery. What the heck is the brewery? 
The name's like, is it Rogue? Does Rogue do Bat Squatch? I've had it, and it was good. Also, <laughs> a bunger followed by a scamp, followed by scamp death. I like how a scamp gets murdered immediately. Well, I guess we don't have a, a bunger murdering uh, reward, because why would we? Why would we? Bunger's great. Um, Tick Spring, hey. Tick Spring says, hey Nick, I hope your evening is going great. Thank you. Yes, it's going well. I'm back hanging out with y'all. How could it not be? Uh, I hear a bunch of snow happened in BC. Yeah, we got some snow here. Not like an apocalyptic amount, but more than we expected, I think. Uh, probably like, like six to eight inches, probably. <laughs> I don't know, which is a lot for us. I, have Drake. I know Drake is out there. I know Drake's going to quote something. I'm trying to think about how to say this. What if I put it in centimeters? Would that be less suggestive? <sighs> anyway. Um, but yes. Yes, we did get some snow here. Enough to make it so that I can't really get out of our place. Because our, our road is steep. And it's tough to get up and down in the snow. Uh, JP the Meth Head. Thank you for following Welcome. Great to have you with us. Welcome on in. It's true, I could have just put the, my beer tonight out in the snow as well. That, that would have been an option to chill it. In fact, uh, I did have the beer out on our balcony uh, like last week or the week before, but then it got pretty cold, like minus 10-ish, minus 10 Celsius, which is very cold for here. Uh, which I was worried that they might explode if they froze out there, so. So, yeah. Uh, Odinson says, life has been extremely busy and I haven't been able to stay up to catch the streams. Fair. I stream a lot later now. Uh, which I don't like. I don't want to be streaming later, but it's where life is at right now. Ah, uh, we've missed you too, Odinson. <laughs> I'm doing well, thank you. And yeah, I hope things are good for you. Did you get any snow out your way, Odinson? I'm sure you have, but like in the last couple of days. Uh, Curtis Girl, hey, wonderful to see you. Curtis Girl, I thought of you the other day because I saw a headline saying that it's EverQuest's, what, 25th anniversary? Is that right? And it's getting a new expansion pack this year, which I freaking love. I just love that EQ is still getting expansions all these years later. I saw that EQ2 was as well, so I guess it's alive and well, too. Which is very fun. Very fun. Uh, Curse Girl, for those of you who may not know, streams old school EverQuest here on Twitch. Go check it out. Uh, very, very fun. Um, Soundless said, honestly, I've been struggling with my mental health which is why I kind of vanished. But I'm slowly getting better. Uh, baby steps, 1000%. That's the fact that you are, you know, working on it and feeling positive progress is huge. Uh, and I'm glad to hear that things are turning around. And I'm sure it's never easy or a quick journey. But uh, having that, that sense of um, hope and improvement, I'm sure, also goes a long way. And I hope that being here, surrounded by awesome, warm-hearted people, can help you, at least a little bit, in a tiny way. <laughs> um, also, the opossums are back. <laughs> Yo, you gotta send me more pictures. Those things are so cute. They're adorable. Little, little tree rats. I say that endearingly. I say that with love. Um, John says, thank you very much, Nick. It means a lot that you took a moment to say that. I'm very appreciative. My pleasure. And I, like I said, I, I hope it helps a little bit. <laughs> I hope it helps a little bit. Um, jumping back to YouTube. 
AJ Brown says, hey Nick, any resolutions for 2024? None that I made formally. Uh, I thought about it, and honestly, I, I could probably stand to have done so. You know, made some resolutions to hold myself to, but it was more like a general reflection on where I'm at in my life, things that I would like to be different, things that I think are good, and, uh, you know, thinking about what actions I can take to get to where I want to be. Um, and some of it's not even so much like that I know what I need to do. Some of it's like I have to think more about <laughs> what, uh, you know, what that future would look like uh, where I'm accomplishing all the things I want to accomplish. Uh, so that is to say I thought about it, but I didn't commit to anything. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. Uh, what about you, AJ? Any any New Year's resolutions for you? Gracie said, I kind of miss the oh yeah subscription notification sound. It was good. It was good, wasn't it? I should really bring it back. There was a, an outcry when it uh, disappeared. Uh, people wanted it back. That clip was actually just a stock sound from Streamlabs. Streamlabs OBS. Everyone thought it was me, my voice, but it, it wasn't. It was just a, a stock sound. And I've not been able to find that stock sound again. Um, I don't know where it went. Maybe St. Nick knows. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't. Um, but I could always re-record it myself and just use a custom clip. I just have to get the intonation just right. It's got to be, oh yeah. Kind of like that. I could probably do a few takes and find one I was happy with. Probably. Probably. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Maybe 2024 is the year that, oh yeah, makes a comeback. It's not quite like that. I was like, <laughs> now I'm trying to remember it exactly. Oh yeah. I could always go back and rewatch a VOD to get it, get it just right. Yo, what's up, Hank Hell? Hank Hell says, big, big fan for a long time, man. Thank you. Hank Hell, that's very kind of you to say. I'm glad you enjoy what I do and have done so for a long time. Thank you for your kind words. Thank you for watching my stuff. And thank you for tuning in here tonight to the stream. T-Pony, what's new? Good to see ya. Uh, happy New Year to you, T-Pony. TNS4 says fridge specialist slash salesman would probably make a good video explaining all the features and the different options. <laughs> probably. I don't know anything about fridges, really. Very little. I mean, a, a little bit, having spent a while looking at fridges online, but <laughs> not about how they actually work. It's true, Text Topper Bunker is immortal. It is known. I was right, it is rogue. That's where the bad squash comes from. Good. I knew it. Uh, I thought so. We won't murder the bunger, I promise. Tech Stomper says, it's so cold in Saskatchewan, so many pipes froze, including mine. No. Did you have anything burst, Tech Stomper? Because that's the worst. Or not being able to, you know, flush a toilet. That's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. It hit minus 50 for three days. <sighs> I feel like at that point, if it's minus 50 and that's persisting, people shouldn't live there. That's like the hubris of mankind showing through. Like, people aren't meant to live there. <laughs> that should just be, should be wasteland. It should just be barren taiga. <laughs> Boreal forest left to the, the wolves and the caribou and the, the moose. Um... <laughs> No offense, Tech Stomper. I'm sure where you live is nice, but not at minus 50. Not at minus 50. Also, it's impressive how fast a scamp gets murdered these days. Oh, I'll say that was probably Drake, huh? Drake's usually on top of that. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Hey, Cameron Furlong. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words. Welcome to the stream. Um, I 
Stefano says, bro, you wouldn't believe how much mileage I've gotten out of your old grading exam papers video. You high key just deserve the money at this point. Ah, I bet oh, thank you. Oh, that means a lot. And I'm really glad that that's it. The gift that keeps on giving that video. Um, yeah, that was one that I, I recorded it because it was the only thing I could record at the time. And I really wanted to get a video out, but I couldn't take the time to do anything else. That was when I was doing my master's degree and uh, TA and was generally very, very busy. And uh, yeah, so that, that's the video that happened. And I'm so glad that it happens to me, the one that you vibe so well with. Um, I don't grade exam papers these days, but if I ever do again, I'll make another one. How about that? Just for you and anybody else who enjoys that video. Uh, it's Taco asks, what did you think of the Avowed trailer today? So, uh, for those who don't know, Xbox did their developer direct today where they had, let's say, five games showcased. Uh, and uh, amongst them were several games that I'm very interested in. Uh, I have not actually seen the Avowed trailer from today, I must admit. But what I, so I, I have no opinion. I will let you know once I've seen it. Hopefully my next stream. But what I did see today was the Indiana Jones trailer. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, is that what it's called? From Machine Games. They have the modern Wolfenstein games. And I was pretty happy with what I saw. I thought it looks pretty good. I thought it looked, I think it looks pretty intriguing. Um, been a long time since we had an Indiana Jones game. And uh, this one looks to be very fun. That They showed a quite a bit of diverse stuff. Uh, a real standout feature, well, A, They've got Troy Baker, voice acting, indie, doing a, I want to say, serviceable Harrison Ford impression. I would not say the best I've ever heard, but Troy Baker in general is just a fun guy to listen to. He's got a good voice, and I think he's a good voice actor, and I think he did a pretty decent job from what we heard in the trailer. So, um, But the actual game looks great. Uh, the characters look fun. The setup looks fun. A lot of it looks to be in first person, which is fun. It's a lot of like first person whip action, which looks really good. Uh, you know, puzzle solving, ruins exploration, these sorts of things. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I am more hyped for that game than I was. Not that I wasn't excited about it to start with, but it was just such an unknown. But now having seen that trailer, that that's it looks good. It's coming out this year. It's coming out this year. Uh, we don't know when yet, but had I known that it was going to be announced for this year when I made last weekend video, which was my top 10 most anticipated games of the year video, it would have been very near the top. Perhaps number two. Maybe. Maybe number one? Probably number two, I would say. I think it would probably dethrone Avowed from the number two spot. But Avowed is something I'm also very interested in, so I'm looking forward to checking out that trailer too, as well. Geese says you had to bunger. It's okay. Bunger all you like. Bunger is blessed. Bunger is beautiful. Uh... Stomper said nothing burst. We had a heater, but we had to turn off our water heater. That sucks. So no hot water for a while. Uh, Raptor Roger says Canada's just built different. It's true. Although not where I live. And this part of Canada is, is very mild. But, uh, yeah, minus 50s. That's silly. That's silly. Saskatchewan is basically a wasteland, says Tech Stomper. Until you hit the north, then it's forests. Fair. Fair. Frozen prairie, then. Not boreal or taiga, I guess. Yes. Hey, Campolius Rex. What's up? Welcome. 
Cambolia says, can't stay for long, but wanted to say hello from Melbourne, Australia. Yo. Uh, thanks for thanks for tuning in from Australia, Cambolius Rex. Uh, thanks, Nick, for all the great content and help relaxing and winding down in the evenings. Yo, always my pleasure. Awesome to have you joining us, tuning in. Uh, uh, even if you can't stick around, thanks for dropping in to share some good words. Share some positivity. Uh, text number says, yes, the exam papers looks awesome. The video, you mean? Uh, text number says, I'm hoping the avowed box art was AI generated because some of my artist friends have been skeptical as well. Oh, I haven't seen it. That would be crazy if they took, if they had a piece of key art or box art that was AI gen I don't see why they would possibly take that risk for a variety of reasons, but like, it's not like Obsidian doesn't have incredibly talented people and amazing artists, so I have no idea why, why would they would do something like that. That seems unlikely, but I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Um, Deep Fried Deals, what's up? Shout out to Deep Fried Deals over. Hey, Drake. It is the Drake. I knew Drake was here. I, I'd seen him slaying the scams. Drake, what's up? Drake says, Basquatch is so good. It's very good. In fact, I have a Basquatch bottle that I kept. It's up on top of my cabinets in the kitchen. <laughs> I just like the design on it. It was fun. And it's rogue, yeah. Uh, I found out that video is your go-to video for work noise in the background. Yo, thank you. Thank you for contributing so many hours of views to that video. For when you really got to focus and get stuff done. I appreciate it. There we go. <laughs> and there's Drake with the quote. Yep, yep. I knew it was inevitable. I knew it was going to happen. Lots of snow of Joey Odinson. I'm somehow not surprised. JP the Meth Head says, watching from Portugal, where it's 6 a.m. right now. JP the Meth Head, are you going to sleep or are you awakening right now? How wild is your schedule is what I'm asking. <laughs> or maybe it's neither. Maybe it's the middle of your day. I don't know. 6 a.m. Could be. Could be. Hey, Tuba Fed, you also got your card in the mail. Excellent. Uh, I'm glad that they're mostly uh, getting out there. Sounds like most, well, maybe not most, but many people have received theirs now. Except Drake. Sad face. Single tear. Uh, Chuba Fett, how did you like the art on this year's card? The art, which, by the way, as you all probably know, but I want to shout out awesome community member Nicoma Raccoon, who did the art this year and last year as well. Uh, she is amazing and also uh, does fantastic art. She takes commissions. I'm not sure if her commissions are open right now, but if you're ever looking for someone to do some really rad character art, uh, definitely shoot her a DM over on Discord uh, uh, or wherever, I guess. You can look her up and message her wherever, but Discord is where you might find her <laughs> in our community. Uh, because she does some pretty stuff. Uh, Churchy says, had a few days last weekend at minus 20 F. What is minus 20 Fahrenheit? I don't know what that is in the not Fahrenheit's FNC. Uh, really? Can't figure that out. Minus 29. That's yeah, really cold. That's unpleasant. The coldest I've experienced is minus 21. Minus 21. Uh, Celsius, not Fahrenheit. So that is all I can speak to. And that was pretty chilly. It's pretty chilly. Uh, Drake says, death to the scamp, as expected, as expected. Thank you for the rain, by the way. This is nice. 
TickSpring asks, will you be doing some vids doing custom refrigerator builds? <laughs> cool clicks when you open the door and such. Yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be modding my refrigerator. So I can like super chill stuff. And uh, I'm gonna be putting some RGB on it. So when you open it up, it's like a rave in there. And uh, you know, some custom cooling, some extra fans, RGB fans. Yeah. Let's see if I can increase my FPS. Play Skyrim on my fridge. Modded Skyrim on my fridge. <laughs> The new one we're getting, it's not like a smart fridge. It doesn't have the, you know, display and stuff like some of those, like Samsung ones. It's a, uh, it's got an indoor water and ice dispenser, but no screen. Not like a smart screen, anyway. You know. Hey, check it out. It's Bakery Guy. What's up, Bakery Guy? Happy year. And a half bakery guy. 18 months. How you doing? Um, and also, as you point out, your second baby potato. If you would like to name uh, a new little tater tot, you are, of course, more than welcome to. Uh, bakery guy says, thanks for all the wonderful ASMR streams. You betcha. You betcha. Uh, thanks for being here for all the, the good times. And I uh, hope you're doing great, bakery guy. hope things are good for you. Uh, mel, mel, mel. Good evening. Oops, I'm dropping my tater. It wasn't the baby, I promise. This is a fully grown potato that I dropped. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Red spear. Red spear with the 21 bucks. Respear says, oh shiz, I meant to hit on fall. Yeah, sure. Sure you did. Sure you did. I bet you did. You meant to hit on follow 21 times. <laughs> Respear, how you doing? My guy, welcome on in. It's great to see you. It's great to see you. Hope your, your year is going wonderfully so far. And uh, our very own Kuro, the Wolf Knight who I, for some reason, always still want to call Kuro the Night Wolf. I guess that's just how my brain works. But Kuro the Wolf Knight. <laughs> Kuro with the 22 watts. Kuro, thank you for yet another month. Thank you for being awesome. Thank you for continuing to support uh, what I do here and what we have here. Kuro says, almost two years, again, really dangerously close, uh, at least in sub months. Yeah, I think you've been here for longer than that, probably. But in sub months, almost two years. No, yeah. Yes, I, I think you have. Uh, I think it'll tell me if I click on your name. Following since February 23rd, 2020. February 23rd. Yo, also, account created February 23rd, 2020. You created this account to follow here. I assume. I don't want to be like too presumptuous, but I'm, I'm assuming that's the case. And that's certainly more than two years. <laughs> God, I feel that. I feel that in my soul, in my bones. In my bones. Ah, uh, where are we in the chat? Oh, I was wishing a good evening to Mel, Mel, Mel. Mel, Mel, Mel. Mel, 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 mel. Uh, good evening to you and welcome. <laughs> Aeson says, buy our gam, la circle. <laughs> hey, if it's a good circle, if it's a fun circle, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Uh, hey, speak of the choo choo train. I was just saying how we hadn't seen the, uh, hype train for quite some time and I was wondering if they had changed its behavior maybe uh, but I hear it in the distance a hype train is close uh, my streamer senses are tingling I can hear it going toot toot off in the distance uh, because our attractive 
just resubbed as well with the 16 month resub retractive. How are you doing? Yo, what's up? I've had a pretty good week. Thank you. How about yourself? Artractive. I received an envelope in the mail from Australia just this past week. Would that have happened to come from you, my friend? Would that have happened to come from you? Uh, happy 16 months, by the way, Artractive. Happy 16 months subversary. Welcome back for another one. Yo, look at that. Mel, 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 1997. Just subscribed at tier one for what I believe is the first time. And in doing so, through the power of teamwork and friendship, you all have summoned the hype train, which is kicking off at level two. Kicking off, or 20% of the way to level two. Um, Mel Mel Mel, thank you for conducting in the hype train, as well as all the rest of y'all very kindly gifting or re-subbing, and I found out who gifted those subs and John earlier. Uh, I appreciate it. And if y'all want to board the train to Hype Town, now's the time. It's going to be leaving in four minutes. Get on board, and uh, off we'll go. Who knows what we might find in Hype Town? Probably some emotes. That's usually how it goes. Typically, that's what we find in Hype Town. Uh, yo, what's up, Bradshaw? Over on YouTube, Bradshaw says, Hello, Nick, how are you? I'm doing good. I want to go get my potato that I dropped yeah. on the ground, though. Yeah. I will let the scamp entertain yeah. me, or entertain you. <laughs> let me go get my potato one second. I keep wanting to tap on the potato yeah. out of excitement. I feel like Mel 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 definitely deserves a potato tap. But I have to get the potato to do that. So one second, one second. Oh my god. I turn my back for one moment. One moment. And the scamps attack. A full scale invasion. What is the line? The uh, Phantom Menace? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think it's Bunker. Communications disruption can only mean one thing. Invasion. Is that is that the line? I feel like that's that's the line. Um JP the meth head says been up all night, broke my leg in a pretty bad way. Oh that's oof. Have my toes sleep for a while, so I turned to ASMR. Uh, an excellent choice. Uh, if I do say so myself, I hope it's been helping you. I hope it's been a way for you too find some some rest and some sleep and i certainly hope that the pain of your leg subsides soon so that you can get the rest you need to heal because that's uh that sucks and i'm very sorry for your your accident oh kuro yes your nap how do you feel after your nap hopefully a little less headachey yeah. Uh, Mel 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 says we had some uh, feels like temps in the minus 30s F in the Midwest. That's silly. That's not okay. Who's bonking who? What is going on? Everything's popping off here. Everything's popping off. Uh, speaking of popping off, I'm tapping on this tater. I'm tapping on this tater because uh, those subs were popping off and we are celebrating. We are celebrating with some tater tapping. Oh, I should also probably check. I've not looked. Oh my god. I did not think to check the channel points redemptions for a little while, and I've missed a few. One blood sugar check and hydrate from Odinson. Uh, let's see what the old blood glucose is doing. Uh, is doing. 7.2 and pretty stable. Well, just ignore the part where it goes. But that was, that was earlier. But right now, it's pretty stable. Uh, so thank you for that uh, blood sugar check, Odinson. Also, uh, hydrate from Odinson and from Tick Spring and a blood sugar check from Gracie. Gracie, I will do that in a little bit, but thank you for looking out for yo streamer. I appreciate it very much. Y'all keep me, keep me on task, making sure I'm not passing out on you because that would be awkward. 
uh, for hydration duty tonight. I have not water, but diet soda, as is not so uncommon. Uh, I got that Canada Dry. I got that Canada Dry Soda Genre à la Mur. Mur? I don't know what that means. Sauvage. That means wild. <laughs> what it actually is, is blackberry ginger ale. Is a mur a blackberry? Savage berries. It's really good, though. I love this stuff. Normally, they put it out in the summertime. I don't know why it's out in the winter right now. Thank you all for that hype train. Thank you for conducting it on in. And those who joined the train to Hype Town, I hope you enjoy. Well, I, all of you, I hope you enjoy your uh, emotes. Your emoji. Peter says, yeah, I need your glasses. Yeah, I guess you've needed some for a while. Like a couple of years now. Knight the Kuro Wolf. That's right. Wolf the Knight Kuro. Raspier says, following since Christmas Eve 2019. Just a little bit before Kuro, actually. Just a couple months. Very close. Very close. Kuro says, I'm still tired. You're going to have to give me a few minutes. No worries. Take your time, Kuro. There's no no pressure whatsoever. Hey, look who it is. It's maidens and friends. Maidens, come on in. Come on in. And friends, not just maidens. Y'all, come on in. Marissa and Daniel. Whoa, what? A double raid. A double raid. La Miesta. Hold on a second. La Miesta, didn't you come in with uh, maidens? previously was this a, a planned double raid or is this a is this a a uh, coordinated attack uh, but welcome on in come on in let me ask that please join us and maidens and all the raiders we've got uh maidens we've got la miesta we've got marissa we've got daniel ash we've got uh pro bacchus we've got pid skiller We've got, I think that's everyone that just came in, in the chat, at least. If you guys hear Bjork, that's an alarm on Sarah's phone. She must have fallen asleep because she's not hearing it. So I'm going to go silence that alarm so that you don't have Bjork uh, <laughs> just in the distance singing to you. I don't want to get like content ID struck on this stream after all. Uh, I'll be right back and we will celebrate the new arrivals. One second, friends. One second.
I return. <laughs> Apologies for blasting you in the ear there. Apologies for <laughs> taking a little while. I, uh, I had to go figure out where Sarah had gone. And then uh, I decided to grab uh, the stream beer while I was at it because it's about that time, isn't it? Uh, and we will crack this open in just a moment. In just a moment. Yasuru Rinidamaka says, bro, are you inside the matrix? Uh, what if we all are? What if, what if reality is just a simulation, man? What if this is like all inside a computer? What? What? Uh, what was happening? We were getting hype about <laughs> the best maidens and Lavi has to come in with the raids. Thank you again, Raiders, for coming on in. Welcome on in. Please do make yourself at home. Uh, if you've never been here before, uh, it's great to have you here. My name is Nick. I'm the ASMR nerd. I do nerdy, relaxing stuff. We chat a lot on this channel. And then eventually, occasionally, I play video games, which we will be doing at some point tonight. Um, Maidens plays video games. Best Maidens definitely does. Go check out Maidens. Make sure you hit that follow. Have we got shoutouts for Maidens and La Miesta? I hope we have. I hope we have. Um, and La Miesta, I must admit, I do not know what you stream. But I'm going to go find out right now. Right now. La Miesta looks like streams. Some Tears of the Kingdom, some Immortals, Phoenix Rising, some Resident Evil 6 and 5. So like variety streamer, lots of games. That's awesome. That's very cool. Uh, definitely go go hit that follow and support another another awesome streamer here on Twitch. I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit that follow right now. Um, and hopefully I can drop in and say hi at some point. Uh, thanks again both for bringing your communities on over to chill with us. I appreciate it so very much. Uh, and uh, yeah, please make yourselves comfy. Uh, where was I in the chat? Where was I? Where was I? I was at... I was at... Redspear saying, I'm alright, I worked 18 hours today. That's not reasonable. Why did you work 18 hours? That's not something that should happen, ever. Uh, or not in anything but the most extreme of situations. I hope you get some, some time off tomorrow or something. Uh, just scrolling, just scrolling. Hey, it's Mato Raptor. Mato Raptor, hello. What's up, Mads? new and daisy broadcast from poor farm hello and happy thursday happy thursday sorry for taking a minute to get to you there um <laughs> i was trying to figure out what Majin nine is grapple but it was the cat on the keyboard please give your kitty cat pets for us that's the uh the uh uh fine for letting your cat on your keyboard. Mure is blackberry, sauvage is wild. Well, that makes sense then, doesn't it? Uh, thank you again for the cozy raids. I'm just getting back to the part of the chat where the raiders rolled in. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Shout out to Drake, Draconis, as an artist, for shouting out uh, Lamiasta and Best Maidens. I appreciate that very much, Drake. Speaking of Drake, speaking of that boy, first of all, I'm going to give Drake a shout out because I doubt Drake shouted out himself, so I'm going to do it. Uh, Drake on is, is an artist. A very well deserved. Go follow that man if you are not already. I, I fully expect everyone here already is, but if you are not, you should be. Uh, awesome dude. Amazing vibes. Uh, ASMR and otherwise super funny dude like really actually genuinely hilarious guy um, and the biggest heart the biggest heart um, Drake also sent a card to me this year to me and Sarah uh, which has recently arrived 
Uh, and I will not show the envelope here because I do not want to dox our boy Drake with an address. But uh, I guess I could just like cover up that part because this just has this just has my PO box address on it. This part. Um, but I was thinking it'd be nice to open that on stream here, so we're gonna do that in a moment. In a moment. Um, and then I have this other mysterious card here. Which I thought was maybe from our attractive. And that's why I asked, but I don't know if our attractive ever replied to that. I'm not sure. It came from Australia, and so I thought maybe it was from our attractive, but it could have been from someone else. It doesn't say on the outside of the envelope. Uh, the mango! The mango with the 30 month resub. Holy schmuggles. Mango, how you doing? What's up? The mango. Uh, thank you for the 30th month of supporting what I do here, what we have here, being a part of all this and contributing so kindly. Uh, that's very much appreciated. And welcome on in. How is the mango doing tonight? Uh, lots of fire in the chat, which is fair enough. Fair enough. I did leave for a little while, so everything got... I didn't say anything about not lighting chat on fire. You see, Serena, my hope is that if I don't say anything, y'all will just forget. Y'all will forget that you have to, or that you don't have to, but that you you normally would light the chat on fire while I'm away. But instead, instead, uh, you just, you just out there starting fires. Yo, look who just followed. Justin, how are you? Justin Jet Zorbus with the follow. Justin, wonderful to see you. Uh, how have you been? How have you been? Long time no chat. Um, Justin is uh, an amazing composer, producer of music. He has some incredibly beautiful, atmospheric, emotional pieces. Uh, many, not just some, many, many. Uh, and I believe you can find them on, you know, all all streaming platforms, certainly YouTube I know, but probably Spotify and elsewhere as well. Uh, hey, it's great to have you here, Justin. It's like I said, it's been a hot minute. How's life been? What's new with you? Uh, <laughs> early Drake, do we need that quote? <laughs> Did that happen? Oh my gosh. What? Video games? Here? Seems fake. Fake news. Am I an AI generated ASMR nerd? Am I a chat GPT model? A, a, uh, I am GPT-5. It's me. Uh, Lamiesta says we were playing Subnautica co-op earlier on. Oh, that's fun. That would make sense why you both rated it once. Uh, I really need to go actually play Subnautica. I played some of it in VR quite some time ago, but I did not get that far in. And I know people love that game and that it gets pretty wild uh, after a while. So I hope y'all had fun. Uh, that's right, Grapple. We don't play any games here. We are strictly a thief enthusiast stream. I prefer it if you did not sully our stream with talk of other games. Or gameplay, for that matter. Uh, just got to where just, Justin appeared in the chat. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Neebsy, what's up? Welcome. Neebsy says, or asks, have you ever dealt with depression? Well, that is a big question, Neebsy. How do you get through it? That is a difficult one, of course. And I, in full transparency, have not uh, had to struggle with or manage depression myself. But uh, many people uh, very close to me have. And so I can't necessarily speak from a place of personal experience, but uh, secondhand experience rather than first hand experience, I suppose. And um, it's 
not an easy thing. Uh, depression is a insidious thing, and it takes, I mean, as you know, I don't have to tell you this, but, you know, the things that should be joyful and, and makes them not, <laughs> it makes them not, nothing. Um, and obviously the way that people manage their depression is, is different for each individual, but I, I will say that getting professional assistance is the best thing you can do. I don't know what your situation is. If you have access to a therapist, if you have access to a, you know, a psychiatrist, um, but even a therapist and just starting there, um, and they will help guide you to the resources you need. Um, and whether the solution is cognitive behavioral therapy, whether the solution is uh, medication or more likely some combination of these things, um, you know, taking those steps to speak to somebody who can help you access what you need is I think the number one most important thing. And I have seen people again, very, very close to me, uh, go through those steps and it is very scary at first. And there's all kinds of, you know, um, challenges along the way, but in the end it was very much worth it. Uh, for those individuals and they're um, you know much happier uh, for it but I think again speaking from a just a second hand experience here I think one of the most important things is to remember that it is not forever and always that things will get better and that you are never ever ever alone in your struggles uh, that there are people who care about you, there are ways to, to get help, um, and that things will get better. I think those are the most important things right out of the gates. So, um, I don't know if any of that is helpful for you to hear, but just know that you always have friends here, uh, and that uh, we want to support you, we want to see you, uh, you know, manage your uh, struggles and hopefully, you know, uh, be happy and, and flourish. So, uh, I, I hope some of that is, is helpful. And that goes for anybody here. Um, and I know, obviously, that access to resources for uh, helping manage uh, depression, uh, you know, varies by where, where you live and kind of you know, health insurance you have and all these sorts of things, benefits through your job or your your school or what, what have you. But um, wherever you are, there will be local resources available, um, you know, to help point you in the right direction and start you on that road to where things can start to get better. So, and if anybody else in the chat would like to add on to that, you know, with their personal experiences or, or things that they have found uh, helpful, uh, you know, feel free, as long as it's done, you know, with compassion, <laughs> which I'm sure, I'm sure it would be. Y'all are good people. <laughs> All right, uh, that was a, a little aside, but I think it's an important thing, because uh, um, so many people, you know, struggle silently, uh, and I think it's part of destigmatizing mental illness and, and depression in particular is, is talking about it more, uh, you know, sharing the struggles that we experience first or second hand um, and helping support one another, uh, you know, in finding ways to, to manage and, uh, and live again, you know. Um, uh, Mando Raptor says, it's been a long couple of weeks, but glad to be chilling with y'all again. Glad you are here chilling with us, Mando Raptor. I agree. It's just been a long couple of weeks. I'm right there with you. One thousand percent. Attractive says, if it's a big car, then yes, it is. Attractive, it is. I won't, uh, I don't think your address or anything is on here, but th this is the envelope. It looks like this. That's my P.O. box. So I think... 
that's probably the one that's exciting attractive would you be open to me opening that here on stream as well i'm gonna open drake's card but may i also open yours uh all right best maidens thank you again for the raid have a great sleep take care we'll see you next time yo be shaw uh great to have you here on the, the uh, twitch side of things uh time flies right mango it really does bakery guy asks hey nick do you have an opinion on boba u4 silent switches uh i'm still hoping to build a keyboard i was gonna go gmmk but now considering a more quiet keyboard i mean the nice thing about the gmmk is that you can put whatever switches you want in there it's on swap right but um i've not used the boba uh u4 silence uh, so I, I don't know. I will say generally, I find silent switches to be a bit mushy. That's because the dampening they have in them to control the sound is usually something soft <laughs> that contributes to you know keeping them quiet, but also a less satisfying tactility. But um, but I'm sure that there are some out there that are pretty great. Uh, I certainly like my Boba U14s the boba u4 thonky switches but they're gonna be probably pretty different than the silence in that regard so uh but best thing you can do is try and get your hands on a, a tester right and see for yourself if you like the feel and sound justin says doing good man just go back for four months of travel in southeast asia you know what justin i i kind of knew that because i've seen some of the pictures you posted on facebook and uh, it looks like it was a freaking amazing time. I didn't realize it was four months, though. That's a lot. That's an incredible journey. How did you enjoy your time? What were some of your favorite experiences? I know that's a big question. Even just one. Something that stands out to you. Bradshaw says, hey, Nick, any good recommendations for a person new to PC? Uh, in terms of games or in terms of building a PC in, in what sense are you looking for recommendations mischief is hard to resist I understand Serena I'm, I'm such a bastion of orderliness and gentlemanly behavior standing up here in front of the camera but as soon as I get in someone else's chat I just become a, a gremlin a little troll just like everyone else here like all of you just ask some of the folks in the chat who I, whose streams I occasionally drop in on. Uh, I can't help but cause mischief. Oh, a good way to start out, asks Bisha. Um, well, um, there are some resources if you want to build your own PC. There he has a website called PC Part Picker, which is very good for assembling a uh, PC from lists of available parts. And I'll give you prices and all that. People will also post their builds there so that you can see what kind of thing other people are building at certain price points. There's also a very handy website called Logical Increments. Logical Increments. And there they have a whole spectrum of price points from ultra budget up to extreme enthusiast and uh they dynamically build parts lists from like the best value parts at that price point now um i don't know where you're located i believe it's mostly geared towards north america but i could be wrong you might be able to switch to other countries on that website but that might be a good place to start as well if you want to learn more about the components before you dive in I'm trying to think if I can think of any good websites that would offer a primer. I can't off the top of my head, but I do have a video it's from a few years back where I go through all the components of a PC, talk about what each does, try and give a really simple breakdown and uh, compare, uh, not comparison, what's the word I'm looking for? Analogy for each part, I guess. Uh, so that might be of interest to you. You can find that on the YouTube channel. Uh, hopefully, 
some of those would be helpful for you. Athena says ASMR is meditative. We simply conceptualize the video game and then transcend the actual gameplay. That's right. All of you are having a wonderful dungeon siege gaming experience right now. Save R1. Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. Welcome on in. I see this is your first time in chat. Can we get a warm stream welcome for Save R1? Who is here for their first time? Uh, Neemzy says, thanks Nick. I've had a rough five months or so, but I still look forward to watching your content every week. I'm glad that through, uh, you know, upheaval and turmoil and challenge, whatever you might be facing, I'm glad that my, my content can be, uh, something that you can rely on. Uh, I've always wanted it to be that, uh, for people, you know, uh, your favorite videos you can always come back to, um, you know, or look forward to a new video each week. Um, life is full of change sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse, sometimes it can be very tumultuous, and for me personally, having um, things that you can rely on, you know, uh, that are comfy, and having uh, traditions, and routine, and those things that, yeah, you can always come back to, that means, a lot, you know, a lot for me personally. And I get pretty sentimental about that kind of stuff. So, uh, you know, despite all the insanity going on out there and in each of our lives, uh, one of my guiding principles with this channel has always been to to create that kind of space where, whether it's through the streams or through the videos, you know, you know that there's um, something comfy, cozy, consistent that you can rely on. So. I'm glad that it, it helps, Neemzy. I'm glad it helps you. Save our one says depression is rough. Yes. Yes, it is. Um, uh, Bishaw, those are good words, too. Good words as well. Thank you. Um... That's it? Attractive? Okay, good. Good. You don't mind at all. Okay, we will open it up. Hey, butt spot's in here. I don't butt at all, says attractive. I mean, it says butt spot. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, there are so many options, Baker. Yeah, you're right. The number of switches, the diversity of switches out there these days is out outrageous. Unreal. Unbelievable. We've never had more options. So many that I, I cannot keep track of them all. Nowhere close. Every day I hear of new switches that I've never heard of before. Uh, Kuro says, My only experience with depression comes from all the way back in high school when my doctor and mother, who I should stress is a psychologist, told me that I showed quite a lot of signs of depression. I, being the young, stubborn bastard that I am, refused to believe them, and for years I just told myself that I didn't have depression. Yeah, it's a tough it out, but... That's not how it works. Eventually, I just stopped feeling that way. So I guess I bullied myself into not having depression. Well, everybody has a different experience. And uh, everybody has different ways of managing. So if that worked for you, then that's very good. I'm happy. Happy for you. But everybody's journey is different. Uh, and everybody's you know methods of managing are different. Um... Yo, Bradshaw, I bet you, I bet you, you'll, you'll figure it out pretty quick. Uh, I bet you, you'll, you'll catch on pretty quick. Blue 091801 asks, is this the first Dungeon Siege? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Way, from way back in 2002. A very good year. Hey, thank you guys for welcoming and save our one. Uh, Sargon says the tinkles are counterbalancing the anxiety of the wind gusting outside. Oh, you've got a windy night. I also hope that you do not lose power. Uh, the real Neo Lord asks, what game is this? We've got a couple people asking that, so I guess I should explain. 
Oh, also, uh, MSC over in the YouTube chat says, about an hour ago I got the email notification you were playing Dungeon Siege. I was just able to log on and I'm wondering what I missed, and you're still here on the menu screen, so I'm guessing not much. It's true. That's, that's how, we, how we tend to roll around here. Oh my gosh, I just realized I'm an hour and 46 minutes into this stream. How did it get so late all of a sudden, y'all? That's outrageous. Okay, well, it's definitely time. We will get to the game in just a moment. But first, as is tradition, I'm going to open up the beer. This is very important. And then I will tell you what game this is, the real Neo Lord. We'll talk about Dungeon Siege and then play some Dungeon Siege. Naga says, sorry for the silence, y'all. My African clawed frog's tank has a huge outbreak of detritus worms. Picture tiny little slightly clear hairs that breathe like rats. That sounds awful. Do you have to just take everything out and like sanitize it and start again? How does that work? Also, African clawed frogs. I don't know what they look like, but that sounds cool as heck. Uh, attractive uh, New Year's has all been good so far. Oh, of course, I have to open the cards as well. Goodness. Okay, we better get on with it. I'm going to open, open the beer, and then we'll open the cards, and then we'll play the game. Maybe we can do it by the two-hour mark. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, uh, allow me to lower the volume so that I can crack this open. Oh, I'm going to adjust the mics as well. Show you what it is. I need to show you if I talked about it earlier. How could I? How could I do this? Um, tonight's beer. Tonight's beer is this one right here. It's got two cute little bluebirds on it. It's called Mountain Bluebird. Mountain Bluebird. It is a Belgian wit, which is a wheat beer, a Belgian style wheat beer, from Lillouette Brewing Company. Lillouette. Lillouette is a little town more of a village, really, in British Columbia here, just the other side of the coast mountains in the interior of the province. Pretty hot and dry during the summers in Lillouette. I've never spent any appreciable amount of time there. Pretty sure I've driven through once or twice, although I don't really remember much about it because I was probably pretty young, so it doesn't really stand out in my memory. But um, anyway, apparently they've got a brewery and uh, they brew this Belgian wit. This is one of the ones I got as part of that, um, that, that, that beer advent calendar last month. I'm still working my way through some of those beers. Uh, a beer a day was too much for me to stay on top of, so. But I like the art style, it's quite pretty. Kinda cute, kinda cute, colorful. Lilouette. Lilouette. And uh, it reads here, a Belgian wheat beer made for bluebird days. What is a bluebird day, y'all? The mountain bluebird pours a brilliant sunny yellow with fine pure white foam. Orange peel and coriander seed bring playful citrus and spicy aromas to this refreshing that sound pretty good. Uh, not exactly a wintry brew, but maybe that's, we need something kind of sunny to counteract all the, the winter weather we're getting here. All right, uh, I'm gonna turn on the volume while I crack it open, one second. quite foamy. You can hear it. Hear it foaming away there. <laughs> if I squeeze it, the foam. Merp, 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 merp. Let's pour it out, shall we? Let's pour it out. Are y'all ready for the pour? Here we go. Here we go. It's a busy one. It 
foamy one. I love the foamy sound on this one. This is great. Very satisfying. Blue, you date from 01. This is the end of your name, perhaps your birth date. Not to dox you or anything. September 18th, 2001. Or is it unrelated? Uh, here we have a beautiful golden pour, hazy gold. That bright white head on top. Ah, uh, my lovely citrusy, sweet, uh, you know, that, that classic wheat beer aroma. Uh, I bet you this is going to be really nice. Uh, today we're going to toast, we're going to toast the knowledge that things do get better, that this too shall pass, and it's always important to keep hope for tomorrow and the next day and the next day things do get better and it's it's worth having hope for the future cheers friends to a better future uh, oh it's quite light it's not as uh, full-bodied as I expected, but it's still quite tasty. It's a very easy drinking, very sessionable wit. Quite pleasant. This would be a great summertime beer. It's a little light for a wintertime beer, but like I said, sometimes you just want something light and sunny. It'd be a very good sunny day beer. All right, let me readjust these mics. Very good. And now, and now, and now, I'm gonna scroll back up a little bit. Just get caught up here. Our tactics says I was just in the middle of a very intense Fortnite match, but now you're finally able to chill. Perfect, because we're gonna open your card in just a moment. Um, I'm gonna do Drake's first here, I think, just because I was asking Drake first about it. <laughs> and then we'll do our tractives as well. A big thank you to both Drake and Artractor for sending over these cards. It means a lot. Uh, and if anybody would ever like to send anything my way, you are more than welcome to. Uh, a card or a whatever, a piece of art or uh, anything really, as long as it's you know legal and not weird and creepy. <laughs> Uh, I do have a, a P.O. box, a post office box, and uh, if you do send something that you would like me to open up on a stream, I would be happy to do that as well. Uh, just give me a heads up that you're sending it, you know, and uh, let me know. Um, thank you, Drake. I was about to say exclamation mark P.O. box in the chat is how to find my address where you can send things. It's always fun to receive stuff in the mail. It's always exciting. You pretty much have to deep clean, and then even then, you might not get them all. Naga, yikes! London Dry Gin is a blues drink of choice. It makes you sleepy. Yeah, wine does that for me. Uh, Save Our One says your hair looks really soft. Oh, thank you. I actually used a different a different conditioner today than I normally do because I ran out of my usual stuff and I couldn't get to Costco to get my normal <laughs> conditioner. But it worked, it worked well, actually. I like this. this one I used today. Totally not your birthday. Okay, Blue. <laughs> Whatever you say. 
<laughs> Whatever you say. Kuro says, speaking of drinks, my roommate was at Costco and the other day and got us a bunch of lychee and pear flavored carbonated waters. That does sound yummy. Oh, so bad. Okay. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, if there's zero sugar, then yes, that would... That's like any, like, a LaCroix or any uh, soda water like that with no sugar. Yes, they all taste like, you know, they once knew the fruit that they're supposed to taste like. Way back in college, they did a project together. They haven't talked in 10 years. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mind carbonated waters like that, but lots of people don't. Bishaw says, also just to note, the stream is great to listen to while reading. Oh, nice. It helps you focus. I'm funny that way. Or I don't know if I'm funny, but for me, if I hear someone else talking, or if it's like lyrical music, for example, it makes it hard for me to read. So if I'm reading or working, I have to listen to non-lyrical stuff. But I know lots of people watch ASMR videos, which might have speaking in them, or listen to music with lyrics while they're working or reading. And that that's just not how my brain works I guess I guess but I'm glad it works for you Bradshaw hey attractive again I appreciate it thank you thank you for sending it all right let's get to let's get to these these here uh, cards then maybe we'll get to the game eventually one day yo Brian Peterson thanks for checking in I'm sorry your week has been rough Hopefully, you can chill with us here a little bit. Maybe help you decompress. I hope your week gets better from here. So, again, this card is from one Draconis, ASM artist. And he and his lovely fiance, Jenna Lee, have sent this card to me and Sarah, my lovely fiance. <laughs> uh, so, let's this up. It's very sticky. Some classic quotes in the chat there. <laughs> okay, that's kind of fun though, Kuro. <laughs> Is somewhat creative. Ah, this is so cute. Happy holidays, Jenny Drake Oswald and Eleanor. Yeah, you guys. I uh, here, I'll show you. So this is from Drake and Jenny, Lee, and here are some lovely pictures of them and their little doggy family. Oswald and Ellie. Yeah, this is a very, very well sealed envelope. Uh, these are so cute. You even managed to get the puppers looking at the camera and everything. That's impressive. That's very impressive. I think that was fine, that fine looking couple. What an awesome couple of folks. Um, and on the back here, it says, Happy Holidays, Future Mr. and Mrs. ASMR Nerd. <laughs> Thank you. I will, of course, share this with, with Sarah. I hope you both have the most wonderful holiday season and the best new year. For what it's worth, Drake did send this before Christmas. It just, you know, things are slow. <laughs> Mail is slow. Uh, and Nick, it's been an absolute pleasure to be able to call you a friend. Right back at you, dude. Uh, thank you for being such a great friend and source of support, kindness, and generosity in my life. Aww, you made me cry on camera. <laughs> I hope that after saying this literally every goddamn year, we can finally actually meet this year. <laughs> I hope so too. Uh, Drake and I have had a long distance bromance for many years now. And despite not living that far away from one another, we've never been able to make it happen where we were able to actually meet up. Um, 
probably meeting up in Seattle would be the, you know, the, uh, or thereabouts would be the equivalent or the appropriate midpoint. We gotta make it happen this year, Drake. We gotta make it happen. I'm speaking it into existence now, says Drake. Well, not really. You were writing it into existence, but I'm speaking it into existence now. Happy holidays to you and Sarah, my friend. Ah, Drake. And then, the best part. On the back, we got the doggy paws. We got Ellie and we got Oswald. Isn't that cute? Isn't that freaking adorable? That's freaking adorable. Drake, (laughs) thank you for being such an amazingly warm-hearted such a genuine amazing human being uh it is an honor to call you a friend and uh it has been so amazing getting to to know you uh and to have you as as a part of all this over the years uh drake's been around in this community basically since well since day one of at least the streaming community but before that with the youtube as well and uh (laughs) <laughs> it's freaking shameful, my dude, that we haven't actually managed to meet up IRL yet. What the hell's wrong with us? Yeah, let's fix that. That was Sarah coughing, by the way, if anyone was wondering. She still got a leftover cough from COVID back in September. Anyway, uh, Drake and Jenna Lee, who I've also never met, obviously, but uh, is uh, from all, uh, you know, all indications, a wonderful, delightful human being. Uh, thank you uh, so very much for this uh, lovely card. And uh, yeah, to our first meeting, uh, let's let's make it let's make it happen this year. Let's make it happen this year. Uh, it is in fact very sticky. You guys are like, oh, that's super wholesome. Drake could have could have sent something really raunchy. Drake could have said some sent something like, you know, on brand for Drake humor. But instead, it's extremely wholesome. It's extremely wholesome. <laughs> and then the it's a very sticky quote in the middle of all that. I love it. Ah, uh, Drake's on Twitch Mobile and it's not been working out. That's frustrating. I'm glad I finally arrived here as well, Drake. It took its sweet darn time, considering that our straight line distance apart, not that far. Not that far. Um, that was lovely. Uh, I also have another card here, friends, uh, from one attractive, attractive, attractive. You have sealed this card so well. <laughs> sealed up with uh, holiday themed tape but then also packing tape on top of that. You guys thought the adhesive on the previous one was good. This one is next level. Next level. Um, I might even have to go get a letter opener or something. Actually, you know what? I think I could probably just use this right here. My name tracing uh, stick. I could probably use that as a letter opener. It's all good, attractive. It's all good. No need to apologize whatsoever. It's better that than having it fall open in transit, right? Ta-da. Easy peasy. No problem. No problem. Drake says I'll do something more on brand next year. <laughs> Is that a promise? All right. What have we got here? What have we got here from our attractive? Yo! <laughs> so cool! What the heck? That is rad. Attractive, I have to say, for all the years you've been a part of this community, I've never actually seen your art. Uh, check this out, you guys. This is authentic, attractive art. This is amazing. I had no idea what you drew. This is cool as hell. It's like 
A robo tiger? A cyborg tiger? Is that what I'm seeing here? Because that is awesome. That is so rad. And like so creative. Does he have a Gatling gun on his shoulder? The detail is incredible though. It's a Siger. It really is. It's a Cyber Tiger. It's a Siger. You're absolutely correct. <laughs> now I guess trying to say that is so goddamn cool, but it changed it. Auto corrected it too. That is so goddard cool. Uh, isn't that rad, you guys? Uh, it looks like Attractive has, I would guess, a website. Uh, if you guys want to go check out Attractive's stuff, I assume. Uh, attractive, where where can people find your amazing artwork? Authentic art since 2016. What was the bonk all about, by the way? I don't know if that was properly deserved. It's a mecha tiger. Definitely a siger. <laughs> that would in fact make a sick tattoo that is badass I love it that is amazing thank you attractive that is super cool I'm gonna have to get like a, a frame for it I'll see if I can find somewhere back there to put it maybe up on the wall back there or something like that that is very very cool thank you for sending that also a couple of stickers in here I appreciate that so much. Um, and, but that's not that's not all. Uh, also, uh, this this card here. Uh, I just want you all to appreciate how neat and tidy our attractive's printing is. Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> it's very very tidy. It's just very visually appealing. Uh, attractive says I added in just one of my drawings. I hope you like it. <laughs> well, I guess I do. I guess we, uh, I guess we figured that one out. And let's open the card. Get some good sticky sounds going here. Oops. Okay, it was sticky till the last, last moment there. Uh, we have a really lovely Merry Christmas card here. Uh, attractive is this, is this yours as well? Or is this, uh, just something you found? I'm not sure whether I should be crediting it to you or not. Uh, attractive says, Hanek, Merry Christmas. Wait, did you draw that Merry Christmas script? <laughs> yeah, what you guys do appreciate? <laughs> Look at this. Isn't that Merry Christmas? That's freaking gorgeous. And Potato Pals. Potato Pals. Look at that. It's so cute. So cute. They're so happy. That's you guys. That's you guys. Wait, you drew everything on this card? What? What? That is incredible. So attractive. Also drew this amazing reindeer with the ribbon and the, uh, Cute little bells. Uh, I won't lie, he looks a little angry. Like it's like Merry Christmas, but also he's judging me slightly, you know. I feel slightly judged. Uh, Butts Bot says, Stunning, you are very tab butted, but attractive. But attractive indeed. Uh, it says here on the back, it says, I've been watching your videos for over nine years. Wait, I didn't realize. I did not realize it had been that long or attractive. You probably told me at one point how long it had been, but then it's been several years since then, and time just keeps going. It does not slow down. <laughs> Holy smokes, attractive says, thank you for showing up each week on YouTube and Twitch. You constantly help so many people. And for those that don't have a family, that's what you've given them. Oh, <sighs> Our track is going to try and make me cry on stream too, you guys. 
We love your genuine and sincere presence. You are gentle, kind, friendly, and caring. I hope you know we are always going to be here to cheer you on and celebrate when you reach 100k on YouTube. I hope you and Sarah are doing well. Congratulations on your engagement and wedding for whenever you have it planned. Uh, I hope that the new year blesses you both and that all of your wildest dreams come true. Well, my wildest dreams. Uh, if you want all of my wildest dreams to come true. Uh, no, that is extremely wholesome. Your friend, Kiz, signed attractive. Yo, uh, that is so freaking wholesome. Both of you guys, that is so freaking wholesome. Uh, and I'm so, no, it's not cheesy, it's heartfelt. There's a difference. There's a difference. I mean, I guess they can be, they can overlap. They're not mutually exclusive. I guess the difference is in how it's received. But this is received uh, with great uh, appreciation. Uh, certainly, I I can tell that it's very earnest and heartfelt. And uh, it, it's really, really, really kind. And I'm so very privileged and grateful to be able to share these streams with you, this time with you, these experiences uh, together over the many, many years. Uh, you know, I said before that I always try to bring uh, a sense of consistency and you know, something reliable, sort of a rock that people can return to uh, with this channel. But it's it works similarly for me, right? You know, I do this here, but I, I come to these streams and I, I make my videos and look forward to the comments. Looking forward to seeing, you know, each and every one of you time and again. Uh, and, you know, our lives are busy, you know, time flies by. Uh, and there's so many things demanding our, our time and attention. And, uh, so, uh, it is not lost on me how special it is and how, um, meaningful it is that each and every one of you makes the time, makes the choice to, to come to these streams, to go to the videos and, uh, you know, watch them, engage with them, maybe leave a comment, maybe chat here whether you chat or not, even if you're just uh, out there lurking. I see you lurkers. I know you're out there. Uh, I appreciate you all so, so much. And uh, it is just such a dang special thing. <laughs> and I'm so grateful for, for all of you. So uh, thank you to these two uh, awesome, awesome individuals, uh, attractive and uh, Drake for sending these these heartfelt cards, uh, these very very kind words, and these uh, these good vibes. Uh, it means a lot. It means a lot. Uh, Y'all are awesome. Big love. Big love to all of you. Goodness. Well, that was really really nice, and. Uh, like I said, I appreciate it a ton, and uh, I uh, look forward to any any chance to uh, receive something special from from you. Uh, and if anybody else would ever like to send anything, again, uh, that PO box is always open for you. Uh, so so feel free, feel free. It's really special. Uh, and with that, it's time for video games, <laughs> finally. Two hours and 16 minutes into the stream. Video games are very special, right? We can share video games together. Um, Attractive said, by the way, thanks guys, that's so kind. I have an Instagram for my art, but I don't have a website yet. Just attractive underscore on Insta. All right, y'all go go, I don't know, what do you do on Insta? Follow? 
I don't, I guess it's followers. I don't, I don't use Insta. Go follow or track them. Um, I think I do have an Instagram here. Let me just see. Let me see. I think I probably could follow. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let me practice what I preach here and find our attractive. Here we go, Kez. Uh, Australia, this is the one. I think, I, hopefully I'm logged in on my right account. Hopefully, hopefully. I've hit that follow. There we go. Uh, these are so cool. Oh my gosh, this Halloween one. This kitty cat. This skeletal crow, I guess. And it's probably our raven. Oh my goodness, these are so good. Oh, the Oogie Boogie. Wait, is that Mad King Thorn? Looks like Mad King Thorn. Some galores too. These are all so good. You are attractive. I would like you to know that I believe you are the first person I've ever followed on Instagram. <laughs> so that's uh, hopefully means meaningful. Yes, Kezia, Kezia, Kezia. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Actually, I'm I'm very sorry. Uh, Stone, I believe, is correct. Sorry, I hope that's okay that I share your name. I don't want to dox you, but. Uh, it is here on your, your Insta, so hopefully that's okay. Hopefully that's all right. Um, yeah, these are awesome. These are so cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to looking through some of these. And I, I bet you Sarah would like some of these too. She's very much into the spooky stuff. You got lots of fun Halloween stuff here. Cannot wait to check out more of that. Of course. Of course. You feel so exposed. I'm sorry, I don't. But y'all, if you do want to go support an awesome, amazing member of this community, go follow Kez uh, over on Insta. Uh, enjoy some of that art. And I suspect that there are links there for how you can purchase some of Kez's art as well, if you would like to do so. And you definitely should. You definitely should. <laughs> it's the raid. Flood. No. No, no, no. Do it with, with kindness. With kindness. Yo, Zuka Fofer, honey. Oh, fever. That stinks. Well, get some rest. Drink lots of fluids. And you can chill with us here. Um, and hopefully that helps you feel a little better. A little, little better. Uh, Drake says, all right, man. I'm super tired. So I'm going to head to bed. Uh, glad the card made it to you finally. I know, right? Right? Uh, Drake, thank you again for your super heartfelt card. Shout out again to you and generally. Uh, another big congratulations on your guys' engagement. And, uh, please give those poppers some pets from me. That would be lovely. Tech Gadget, I'm good. How about you? How about you? Yes, Tech Gadget, the Christmas cards went out uh, a while ago, and some people have said they've received them. Some people here tonight. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, you get yours soon. It should be soon. Should be soon. You know what goes well with cheese? Potatoes. Absolutely, Sargon. Absolutely. 1,000%. Um, also, I just want to say here, I think, I think I might have misgendered you, Kez, and I apologize, uh, but, uh, uh, I think I might have used the wrong pronoun, and I, I should not have assumed, or I don't know if I did, but, uh, my sincere apologies if I did, uh, just wanted to throw that out there. Um, but yeah, this art is freaking rad. This is so cool. Uh, some really amazing stuff. Um, 
DJ over on YouTube says, thanks, looks amazing, great art, would love to work with you, are attractive. There you go. There you go. Um, where am I at in the chat? Uh, again, Drake, have a wonderful night. Take care. Take care. Sleep well, my friend. Um, Halloween forever. That's right, you've said that Halloween is like your favorite holiday. I remember that. Sarah is very much a Halloween girl as well. Uh, Bradshaw, have a good night. Sorry we didn't get to the gameplay before you had to head to bed. But I'm glad you enjoyed this banger of a stream, uh, as you said. And yes, I do intend to stream on Sunday. It's possible... It's possible that something will come up. Uh, I'm hoping to submit this, these revisions for this paper by Sunday, and I have a meeting planned with one of my co-authors to go over some of what I've revised and what I'm going to be submitting. Um, so it's if that goes super long, it's possible something could get, you know, like the stream might get. Uh, cancelled, but I really hope not. I really, really hope not. I intend to stream on Sunday. If everything goes according to plan. All but. Thank you, Buttspot. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, I'm glad this has given you a lift or attractive. I look forward to seeing what else you do this year. What art is coming down the pipe? Art gang. Video games. Holy crap. Dungeon Siege. This game is an old favorite of mine, as I said at the beginning of the stream. It's from way back in 2002. 2002. Came out right around the same time as Morrowind. Like a month before Morrowind, actually. I guess y'all can tell what time of my gaming life was very formative. But this game, uh, really fun. Just a great old-fashioned isometric RPG. Uh, it only ever came out on PC. But uh, you control a party of up to eight adventurers. You're going on a grand old adventure romp through a world called Emb, Emb, E-H-B. And uh, I've said it before, but one of my favorite things about this game is that it's like, it's kind of like a fantasy road trip because modern games that are often structured where you have a central hub and you're always going back and forth to and from that hub, you know, with like a town portal or whatever. Um, whereas this game, you only ever really go forward. You're kind of always moving forward. And when you leave the, uh, you know, comfort of a, a town civilization and you venture forth into the wilds, you don't know how long it's going to be till you hit the next vendor, you know, civilization, a place to sell all your, your loot, um, you know, stock up on potions, that kind of thing. And so when you hit those places in this game, it becomes that much more uh, meaningful, right? And it's a very fun feeling that very few games ever since have captured. So I love it for that reason. Anyway, it's an old school favorite of mine and we've streamed it a bit here and uh, you all seem to enjoy it. So let's carry on with it. I'm gonna hit the continue and I will have to take this opportunity to just pause the game for a moment. Oops. <laughs> Let's see if I can. No, I'll do that. And uh, resize, resize the window. Because uh, the menu screen is at like lower resolution. So there we go. Now you can see the whole thing. So uh, last we were playing. We were exploring this very beautiful, very snowy forest. And uh, Tech Gadget, you were just asking if um, we had some, some snow here, <laughs> what the weather is like. And uh, the answer is, yeah, we, we had a bit of snow here. Not nearly as much as other parts of Canada, I'm sure. But um, it is pretty snowy outside right now. And so that, that definitely put me in the mood for... Uh, some Dungeon Siege. 
because uh, we are up here in uh, the uh, what the heck are these mountains called? I'm just trying to think if they ever say it. Uh, do I don't remember, but we just came from a town called Glacern. Glacern, and uh, we took the opportunity there last time I streamed this to stock up to sell all of our loot that we had accumulated and to get some new gear as well as a new party member uh, the character on the left side there the dwarf uh, with the staff is our newest party member uh, he is our combat mage so the way this game works is you get better at things by doing those things and it's pretty simple in terms of the stats and all that. You can either be a melee character, a ranged character using bows and such, or there's two schools of magic, combat magic, which is your typical, you know, aggro stuff, or nature magic, which is more support and healing oriented. So uh, we have our party of adventurers here, front and center at the, the front of the the uh, arrow here is our main character, Strong McJohn. Strong McJohn is a melee character, and you can see he's got uh, he's got that drip. Strong McJohn got that drip uh, with his uh, amazing uh, what is this Hassat armor? I forget. Yes, padded Hassat armor, uh, which looks pretty sweet. Strong McJohn. He is in fact strong. He is the strongest one in our party with 18 strength. That's pretty strong for us for this point in the game. Uh, here we've got another melee dude. His name is Gjorn. We picked him up in the first major town. Uh, so he's a sort of story related character. He's a soldier. On the other side here we've got uh, Glorn. Lauren is a, a dwarf from the Glitterdell mines, uh, and we encountered him as he was fighting off a bunch of Krug. So this story here is basically, it's a very simple story. Basically, the Krug are attacking, and the Krug are orcs, essentially. They are the orcs of this setting. Uh, they're kind of dumb, stupid brutes, um, and they are causing problems. They're attacking towns and homesteads across the countryside. Nobody knows why. So they, they rolled on in on our, our main character's farm, and they murdered his neighbor. And with his dying breath, their, uh, our main character, Strong McJohn's neighbor, told us to go to the nearby town of Stonebridge and warn them that the Krug are attacking. <laughs> So we went there, uh, we warned Gjorn and the folks there, and they said, yeah, we know the Krug are attacking because they already attacked us. So Stonebridge was in ruins, but nevertheless, we stocked up there and we continued our adventure uh, until we got to uh, the Glitterdell Mines, which is where this guy, Glorin, is from. And he said, ah, the Krug are attacking, because <laughs> he's a dwarf and apparently all dwarfs have to be some flavor of terribly accented faux Scottish and uh, and then we said okay <laughs> so we went into the mines and we killed all the Krug and we carried on until we finally got to Glacern which is the mountain town that we left not long ago uh, and we warned the overseer in Glacern who was the leader of, of Glacern that the Krug were attacking, he said, yeah, I know the Krug have been attacking our patrols out in the wilderness. And so he is call, has called back all of his uh, legionnaires, all of the, the guards, to come back and defend the town from the inevitable Krug attack. And he said, hey, can you go to the next place and let them know that the Krug are attacking? So off we go into the wilderness to fight more monsters and warn I think Fortress Croth is the next location that the Krug are indeed attacking on the way though 
we have a mission which is to find the missing Archmage Merrick. He uh, apparently went missing right around the time that all of this trouble broke out when all the Krug and monsters got all uppity. So uh, we were told by the innkeeper in Glacern that she had a, a dream, uh, a vision uh, of the Archmage Merrick trapped in ice. And so we are off to see if we can find the Archmage Merrick trapped in ice. Perhaps the Archmage will know more of what's going on and how to solve the Krug incursion. That is where we're at. And uh, we're just gonna keep uh, making our way through the wilderness here, the snowy wilderness, to try and find the Archmage Merrick and uh, reach Fortress Croft. Um, Zuckenfufer says, I have an idea for my request from last stream. Uh, a scamp that wiggles and goes <laughs> from the screen. Sorry, wait, from the screen to that. Sorry, you're saying that like, like the normal reward where the scamp pops up, but instead it wiggles? Is that what you're suggesting? <laughs> oh, from the screen to chat. I'm still not quite sure I understand, but DM me about it. This sounds like an idea we can work with. And I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. I think we can probably get some more scamp action up in this. Tech Gadget, I have played a little bit of Baldur's Gate 3, not nearly as much as I would like though. But yeah, I've played a bit, and I've streamed a little bit uh, here as well. And we should stream some more. We should definitely stream some more. I'm glad you've been enjoying it though. I do love what I've played so far. Steel Neko says, my sister's supposed to fly in from Vancouver this weekend the airport's been snowed in the last couple of days yeah um we have maybe eight ish inches of snow here i would say um and if that's similar to, <laughs> if that's similar to what they have over in vancouver then uh it doesn't surprise me that uh they would have trouble uh given that we are really not well equipped to deal with snow here. I'm sure eight inches of snow sounds like nothing for most of you, but uh, we get snow so rarely here that like most of our cities and institutions are not, they don't have plows really. Uh, so even a little bit of snow can cause big problems. I shouldn't say that. We do have plows here in Victoria, but not very many from what I gather. Uh, and uh, you know, perhaps the scamp incursion, which we just witnessed, is also keeping the plants from flying. I could see that too. Uh, Anth over in the YouTube chat asks, have you seen any PAL world gameplay? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I've seen the monkey with a gun, <laughs> which is kind of a meme going around, but not too much else. Uh, is it any good, Anth? Also, happy... Uh, three stream streak still ago. Three streams and counting. Bolos, hello and welcome. Welcome, Bolos. How are you? Uh, I know our track is isn't it pretty. This game is over 20 years old now. Uh, 22 years old in April. And yet, I think it still looks pretty darn good. One of the things that that struck me so much about this game back when it first came out was just how beautiful it is. Um, it was the first major 3D RPG that I remember, which isn't to say that there weren't 3D RPGs before that, but this was at the tail end of the era of games like Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 and Icewind Dale and uh, Torment, Planescape Torment. Uh, and the Diablo games, so this style of RPG was very much rooted in that old 2D tradition. And this was the first one that I remember being so gorgeous in 3D like this. Right around the time that Neverwinter Nights came out, which was also 3D. 
but of the two, Dungeon Siege was definitely prettier. Definitely prettier. And I think the environmental design and art direction still holds up to this day. It makes me feel, uh, you know, a special way. I think it's still cozy in its own way all these years later. So. <laughs> oh, I see. I, I invoked the scamp. Did I, Sargon? Uh, Zanthulu, yes. Yes, a favorite of mine growing up too, 100%. Did you ever play the multiplayer world? There was a whole separate multiplayer world. Love that. So Confever says, sorry, I meant like an emote in chat, like the spinny potato. Oh, a scamp emote? Yes. So Confever, yes. We can 1000% do a scamp emote. I think that would make a lot of sense. A lot of sense. Yes, we can do that for sure. New Green Day album? What year is it? Is it any good? <laughs> I, haven't, I don't know what Green Day's been up to in the last 15 years or so. I'm sure they've been putting out good music, but I have not been paying attention to them. I heard about that, Steel Neko. I did hear about that. I don't know the details, but I read a headline to that effect, which is pretty ridiculous. I mean, pretty amazing. Sargon says, I've just noticed that some games have an art style that just looks good forever, regardless of how old they are. It's true, and, you know, being from the relatively early era of 3D graphics, well, not early, early, but early-ish, you know, I feel like this game could have been a real uggo and not stood the test of time very well, but I think they did a fantastic job with the lighting and the use of color and fog to add a really strong sense of atmosphere and also the sense of scale that this game evokes um it has a very vertical landscape as you'll see once we start moving here lots of cliffs it makes it feel very uh i don't know what the word is just very dramatic i guess and the soundtrack is amazing. The soundtrack, attractive, is by video game maestro Jeremy Soule. Uh, he of the Elder Scrolls uh, games, uh, the Guild Wars games, Knights of the Old Republic, uh, a million other games from this era, which you, you probably knew that, but I've mentioned it before for those who maybe didn't know. I have not played the King Kong game, Old Grey A. Peter Jackson's King Kong, the game. When did that one come out? Nice, Tech Gadget. Are you a big Green Day fan? The donkey scared the whole game on his back. Yes. So we also have, of course, right, I didn't finish introducing our party. Uh, we also have Yolora, who we picked up in the Crypt of the Sacred Blood. We rescued her from uh, Krug enslavement. Uh, Zed, who is a cranky mage, uh, we hired him in Stonebridge. He's a nature mage. And then uh, this fellow here, Loren, who is a combat mage, who we hired in Glacier, the last city. And last but not least, we have we have Flare, our amazing pack mule. Uh, which is one of the great features of this game. You can literally hire a mule or purchase a mule to carry your party's crap, <laughs> all of your gear, because this game throws a lot of gear at you, for sure. Uh, Anth uh, says, uh, Pal World looks like a silly, enjoyable game. I've heard it's only 30 bucks, uh, so not breaking the bank. Uh, I haven't had a chance to play yet. I think it's also on Game Pass. Is that right? Xbox Game Pass? I'm pretty sure. If so, I'll check it out because I, I subscribe to Game Pass. And Jeremy Soul and Jesper Kid are the true goats of gaming soundtracks. Definitely two of the greatest, without a doubt. Both have done some amazing work. I would add to that list 
uh, Matt Ullman, uh, who composed the Diablo 1 and 2 soundtracks. Some just timeless uh, work there. Um, and many others as well. I have lots of game composers I love, but those are some standouts for sure, for sure. It's like good looking fellowship. <laughs> it's just the fellowship of the donkey. Uh, Alright. Oops. We don't want just uh, Gjorn, or uh, Glorn going there. We want everybody. So, let's venture forth see what the wilderness has in store for us it's a handy map mode as you can see here where you can see your whole party and landscape from above oh got some scary monsters coming oh gosh this is a furrock and big big claws big scary snow beast one fun thing that this game has is uh, the active pause, so you can pause, rotate the camera, issue orders, that kind of stuff. Always useful. Uh, so let's issue the attack order against that Farrakh. One of our melee fighters has a weapon that can turn enemies to stone, has a chance to turn them to stone, and another one has a chance to freeze them, so that's really handy. Got a couple of items to pick up here. Over in this little corner, we have some barrels. Good old barrel smashing. And uh, a chest, some gold in it, nice. Nothing else back in here. Yeah, Jeremy Soul has a very, a very unique composing style, which back in the day, I don't think I appreciated it as much as I have come to appreciate it, because it, I don't get me wrong, I still love Jeremy Soul's soundtracks back in the day, but he composed for so many games that I started to think of his music as quite generic, because I was like, oh, this sounds like so many of the other games and RPGs coming out now, but that's because he scored them all. <laughs> and now, in retrospect, I really do appreciate how unique his style uh, is. Uh, and, uh, you know, it, his music takes me back to uh, the RPGs of the 2000s, early and mid 2000s. And uh, I think, in some way, in my mind, his music actually is like kind of like a seal of quality. <laughs> or an, uh, you know, uh, authentication, an endorsement almost, of like, oh yeah, this is, this is a legitimate RPG, you know, from the era. When it was scored by, by Jeremy Soul. Like subconsciously, it feels that way to me somehow. Um, C418, also extremely good, also extremely good, is a composer. Mr. Sky says, what's up, Nick? I'm a bit late, but I just wanted to thank you for the Christmas card, yo. So if you've received it, that's so funny that it showed up in New Zealand before it showed up for some people that are nearby. That's wild to me. Uh, I'm glad it showed up for you, though. Uh, Mr. Sky says, gestures like that are what make this community so special definitely makes you feel like you're actually part of something and that you are seen rather than just being another number. Ah, I'm glad. I'm glad. It's something I love doing. It's a, you know, special tradition and I'm glad that you uh, really enjoyed receiving it. <sighs> oh man, I would love Howard Shore to compose any game ever. Howard Shore is brilliant. Uh, Howard Shore scoring an RPG would be Unbelievable. Sargon says, My favorite example of an old game that still looks great is Donkey Kong Country for SNES. Yes. That game, I think, got away with that. Or was able to do that because it used a lot of pre-rendered sprites that were, yeah. like, turned yeah. from 3D models into sprites. Yeah. And so it has this very unique look to it, right? 
just like the scamp just like the scamp Thorek says all right I gotta head to bed have a great rest of the stream Thorek you were here right from the very beginning and you made it to the gameplay even though it was very brief that's pretty amazing you guys hear that yeah there's maybe some snow falling off a tree outside uh congratulations on making it to snowy gameplay Thorek have a great night thanks for being here with us and we will see you next time take care sleep well uh it occurs to me uh oh oh gosh these guys are scary these guys are called claws claws and they're kind of terrifying uh let me know if the audio is too loud this might be a bit loud in fact i'm just gonna turn it down slightly for y'all just because the combat gets pretty loud i don't want to be harshing your groove you know what i'm saying But yeah, let me know if this is still too loud. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of wolves. Uh, this might be a good opportunity to fall back a little bit. Let's just fall back a little bit. Just a little bit. And uh, let's, let's switch our supports, or our uh, mages over to uh, support spells. Uh, good, we've got our healer auto healing. And we'll let our. How strong are Chon's getting worked over here? I feel bad fighting the wolves in this game. It seems kind of mean. I wouldn't fight them if they didn't come and try and murder me. <laughs> um, sounds great. All right, thank you, Cameron. I appreciate the feedback. Thank you. Uh, let me take a quick look at the channel points uh, because I have not looked in a while and. Uh, we have a whole bunch of requests that I have been missing out on. <laughs> a blood sugar check from Gracie ever ago. Let's cash that in right now. Thank you, Gracie, again for helping me look after myself. Uh, it's going a bit low. It's a 4.4. Anything under 3.9 is it's a bit low. So I might have to do something about that soon. It does say it's stable, but I feel like it might continue to drop. Um, thank you for that, Gracie. I'll, I'll check it again soon. Neebsy, Neebsy, are you still there? You requested a keyboard swap an hour ago. I'm so sorry, I missed it. <laughs> Neebsy, how uh, can I, what am I trying to say? What, what keyboard would you like me to swap? <laughs> How can I satisfy your keyboard cravings? Uh, do you have a, a preference that you'd like me, a favorite board uh, that you would like me to swap to? Or a particular sound or type of board? Something clicky, something thocky, something soft. Uh, Argus Rex requested a random MTG card. Argus Rex, let me see if I have another card. I do not. I am fresh out of booster packs and I should have uh, disabled that reward tonight. I apologize, but uh, we have opened all the boosters I, I had, so I'm gonna have to pick up some more. Uh, but I do not have one for you right now, and I'm sorry, Argus Rex, that after waiting for so darn long, cannot fulfill your request. I will refund your points though and uh, hopefully for next stream I can pick up some more packs. 
and John Wes Miller. 19 minutes ago, requested a name trace. John, thank you for your immense patience. If you are in fact still here and awake, how might I do your name trace? You know the, the choices here. We've got the pointy stick, the medium brush, or the big brushy. And uh, we can do it towards the camera, on the hand, or on the microphone. Please let me know your preference, if you are in fact still here and still awake. Also, I bet you I can turn off slow mode now. Things have definitely slowed down. I think I can probably, even though we're only on three seconds slow mode, I'm still just gonna, I'll just turn it off. I'll let you all be free. chat is now free. Free at last. YouTube chat, you, you can, you've been able to say whatever you want and whenever you want. It tends to be a little, a little quieter over on the YouTube side of things. So, all right, back to the game until we hear from Nimsy or Artractive about their request. If we Attractive said, or sorry, did I say Attractive? I meant Nimsy and John Wismiller. My mistake. Attractive said, so I watched The Fellowship of the Ring last night. No way. I watched part of it too. Uh, and no joke, kind of teared up a little. Yeah, because I haven't seen The Lord of the Rings in months and forgot how good his music is in those films. Oh man, the Shire theme, the whole opening sequence in the Shire is just so amazing. Um, I recently got a new, uh, pardon me, like home theater kind of set up. I got a projector and a screen and some new speakers, and I'm really happy with how it came out. It's really pretty cool. Um, and so I watched part of Fellowship on there uh, as like a, a, you know, something to test it out because that video, that video, that movie is just such a treat for the eyes and ears, you know. Uh, Bruce says, Nick, do you ever find that a certain keyboard or certain build increases your typing speed? Yeah, there are some keyboards where it just feels like you're gliding over the keys, you know? Um, certainly linears can help in that regard, but I find with linear boards, I, uh, I'm sometimes more prone to um, making typos as well, especially really light linears because uh it's really easy to just you know just barely touch them and uh and have them trigger so have them actuate but yeah some keyboards do have that feel to them really smooth light creamy linears give me that feeling One thing that I realized I forgot to do is summon some creatures because my mages can both summon minions and on top of that, sorry I'm just making sure I got in all the nooks and crannies back here, on top of that they can also summon elemental orbs that float around them and that will attack enemies that get nearby. I'm doing my duty and exploring all the little bits because there can be treasure hidden in the little corners. Here we've got, is this a mana shrine or a health? It's mana. Regen. Not that we need it, mind you. 
that. Nothing in this corner. Hey, Johanna. Hello. How are you? You got the card. Yay. <laughs> I'm hearing from a lot of people now that the cards have finally arrived. And it's so funny to me, again, that uh, it has gone all the way from here to Sweden. Uh, we had another that went all the way to New Zealand and many other parts of the world here. Uh, before some other people nearby have got their cards. Which is always funny to me. I just don't understand how the mail system works. But Johanna, I am very glad that it showed up for you, and uh, I, I hope you like this year's. What did you think of the art this year? I'm asking everyone that, because I think, personally, I think the art this year was really fun. Once again, shout out to Nakoma Raku for this year's awesome. Bolos, yours has not showed up yet. Yeah, it seems so random. Sometimes it happens really quick and it's just across the world in no time. Other times it just seems to take forever just to get somewhere in North America, you know? Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's summon our creatures and cast our orbs here before we go any further. There's a fire orb and an ice orb, and then uh, a couple critters. There we go. We got a giant, scary, double-headed spider beast, which I don't like at all, and a giant rat, which I also don't really like at all. But that's those are the best creatures we can summon right now. So we will regen our mana since we just spent it for those summons. We'll head back out into the forest. You like the art good. I'm glad, Yana. Well, that was pretty fun. I'll I'll show all of y'all here on stream uh, the art from this year's card. Uh, soon. Uh, once once it seems like the majority of people have received them. I just don't want to spoil them for anyone uh, that might be waiting to receive a card. Um so I'll, I'll wait until it seems like, you know, most people have it. It should be soon. It should be very soon. Hopefully by Sunday, maybe. Or at the very least by next Thursday. Oh, look at this. Got quite the cliff here. I love the epic cliffs like this. And the music change as well. so foggy out here. This is what I mean by this game. It has an amazing atmosphere. It's such a vibes game. And I remember being just so blown away by these massive cliffs back in the day. This kind of like scale I've just never seen in a game before. If you're wondering what that sound is, one of my mages, our combat mage, uh, Lauren here, uh, he has a spell that literally fires bombs, <laughs> like small bombs. And they'll bounce and then do AoE damage, so. Uh, let's recast our, our orbs here. Nothing back here. You have a nice little co collection of cards now, Johanna. Yeah, you, you have all of them, don't you? You've received every single year, haven't you? Pretty sure. 
That would be four of them, I guess. Is that right? Four? I think so. ASMR, one of my favorite things. Whether it's gameplay or unboxings or like showing off old consoles or handhelds, it's some of my favorite content. Or old computer stuff to old PC stuff. Because for me, it's so nostalgic. It's very cozy. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. But then also the ASMR. Ooh, this is spooky. Look, we've got some new enemies here. So cool. Check them out. These are the ice warriors. They have a very uh, haunting sound when they aggro on you as well. We must be getting close to the ice caverns. They break apart into ice. Also, Poor mage Lauren just got wrecked. He's a lot weaker than the rest of our party because we only just added him to our party in Glacern, which was the last town we stopped in. And so he didn't really get the benefit of a lot of the gear we had accumulated up to that point. We equipped him as best we could from the blacksmith there, but he kind of got last dibs on everything, so he's pretty weak. Pretty weak sauce. Oh, you're gonna, yeah, I guess I don't have the follow age command enabled. I'm not sure if that's a default command for uh, Nightbot, but it, it, it's not, it doesn't seem to work on this channel. But if I click on your name, if I click on your name, can see uh, you have been following since April 19th 2020 April 19th 2020 uh, which is quite some time ago um, you kind of said I'm good I just woke up uh, I'm happy I did not or I did not get lost with the snowstorm and stuff hard yeah yeah I think uh, right now probably not a whole lot of males moving here if I had to guess thank you though butt spot just woke up I'm just happy but did not get lost with these snow butts and butt these snow butts and butt Bolo says maybe the US mail system will have it here by next Christmas one hopes Steel Neko said, I send New Year's cards to Japanese mascots. Right, I think you mentioned this once before. I think that's such a fun idea. Last week, they did local news segments about how many cards they got, and they highlighted my postcards coming from overseas. That's so much fun. How do you find and choose the mascots that you send these cards to? How are you aware of them? Um... Yo, Maximilian, what's up? Maximilian says, someone in a different time zone, it's nice to finally catch one of these live. Time zones are the great, the great enemy that prevent people from joining us here. Uh, but I'm glad you could, you could make it this time, Maximilian. Uh, Naga says, this game is making me feel at home with how much snow I've gotten as of late. <laughs> well, uh, I guess it's not, at least it's not like this. It's not as snowy as Dungeon Siege, and you don't have Ice Warriors to contend with. So I think there's a big cavern here. Oh, check it out. Door opening slowly. 
Ooh, very spooky. The ice caves. You can hear the cold wind whistling from within. Blowing out of the icy interior. But we also have a little way off to the side here. I don't know if there's anything for us to see there, but let's take a look. Yeah, got a little bit of stuff to hit. Might drop some loot. Nope, just traps. <laughs> Literally just traps. <laughs> uh, Blacklit Star, how you doing? Welcome on in. Blacklit Star says, oh, I'm, I'm still waiting for someone to do a full ASMR playthrough of my favorite PC game ever, Mount and Blade Warband. You know, I, I played a little bit of Mount and Blade uh, years ago. Years and years and years ago but it just never quite hooked me. I should probably give it another chance because I reckon it's very good. I'm sure it's excellent, but yeah, it just never quite got its teeth into me for whatever reason. Um, but I know that there's lots of mods for it as well. I should look into the where it's at these days because I know people really love that game. All right, let's save our game here. Before we head into the ice caves, the ice caves. Steel Neko says, I follow a Tumblr blog called Mondo Mascots that highlights weird Japanese mascots. Gotcha. They have a list of addresses and you write to the ones who send cards back. That's really fun. I, can they reply in Japanese? Can you read Japanese? Uh... Our track division is not possible to fall off the edges, luckily for me, because it's based on clicking to move. If I click off the edge, it just doesn't let me go, which is probably for the best. So it might look precarious, but there's no way to actually fall. <laughs> but it does look intimidating. It looks dangerous. All right, let's head into the mines of Moria. Except much icier. Icy Moria. Alright, we've got some new bad guys. These are called Ice Flies. Ice Flies. I like how all the icy enemies explode into pieces of ice. Okay, so we actually have to be pretty careful against these Ice Warriors. Because they actually do quite a lot of damage. And they have quite a bit of health. We can bludgeon away at them for a while. There we go. Uh, if they get in our back line and if they focus down our casters, uh, they can do some serious damage. These guys, however, the Brax, with their lightning, they're not much of a threat. Their spells do very little damage. They look flashy, but they don't really do much. Remember when I said one of our mages has a spell that casts a bomb that'll bounce around? Watch. See it go. Bounce. Actually a very powerful spell. It does a lot of damage, but it's hard to aim it. Alright. Well, first encounter against the denizens of the ice caves was a success, I would say. Um Flops. Wait, you can? I can stack the time on my orbs? Are you serious? Because it says, you see, if you look at the bottom there, orb of fire, only 18 seconds left. Oh my god, I had no idea that the time was additive. I did not know you could stack them like that. 
That is so good to know. Thank you, Flops. How many years have I played this game and not known that you could do that? <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you for the tip. Um, I assume you can't do the same with summoned creatures, though, I... Uh, let's give our mages some more, uh, mana potions here. Um, and I did want to check and see how the ice sword is in terms of DPS. Whoa, 530 damage per second. That's a lot. Or that's per 10 seconds, I should say. Average per 10 seconds. That's a lot compared to what I'm currently wielding, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 463 for Strong McJohn, 427 on Gjorn, and 451 on Glorn. So uh, once Strong McJohn hits 19 strength, which he's not yet, but he will be in a little bit, uh, then it's going to be Ice Sword time. Because that's, yeah, that's crazy damage stuff. Just looking to see if any of these others look. Ooh, 457 on this serrated sword of the shaken. That's probably better than uh, what most of my dudes are using. Let's see. Uh, 427, yeah. 457, definitely better here. Oh, but Gjorn does not have 17 strength yet. Only strong like John does, but this will be a good upgrade. No, wait. Crap, not quite. 463 currently versus 457. Well, when Gjorn hits 17 strength, then that'll be a, a nice little upgrade for him. Um, got lots of lots of new gear here. Which we haven't really looked at. Uh, what armor is uh, Gjorn can equip the Angry Brigandine now, I'm pretty sure. Uh, because this stuff is defense 41. The Angry Brigandine is defense 60. So Gjorn can get an armor upgrade. Let's watch it. Watch it happen. Boom. Beautiful. Beautiful. And... Uh, this Sawrask leather, is that better than what Glorn is wearing? It's the same stuff, except it's magical, so let's put that on. Good stuff. Okay. Quick little round of upgrades there. There might be some more stuff here that's better, but we'll, we'll save that for later. Alright. Blacklight Star says, I'm doing well. Thanks, Nick. Best mod by far for Warband is Prophecy of Pandor. You have over 1,100 hours over the years, and that is impressive. That is impressive. What does that mod add, if I may ask? Steel Neko, you can read Japanese. Uh, most of them send New Year's cards back in Japanese with art of the Zodiac uh, animal. That makes sense. But Shinjo Kun, the River Otter, featured on John Oliver's show, sends a reply in English. That's fun. That's fun. That sounds like a very good time. All right, let's keep going here. Nothing over here. Uh, so this otter mascot is a mascot for what? It was featured on John Oliver, but presumably is not John Oliver's mascot. <laughs> oh, we have to uh, attack this ice burrow because it'll keep spawning these uh, ice flies, I'm pretty sure. Okay, apparently... Okay, there we go, we got it. Oh boy, Zed is getting wrecked and that's not good because Zed is our nature mage. He heals. So let's get him to heal himself up and then uh, heal. He's on healing duty now. Gosh, he's getting focused down by by the ice flies. 
There we go. Truth be told, I'm not actually sure how aggro works in this game. I don't know how the enemies decide who to attack, but it seems like they do often target your spellcasters. It's like they know they're squishy. Zed, I think, increased in intelligence. Some gold in there. I love these rays of light coming down from the ceiling. They look very dramatic. Flups says, was wondering if there might be any mods for Dungeon Siege to make it even more suited to ASMR. Not that I am aware of, Flups, but if you find anything, let me know. The only mod that I'm running here is a texture upscale, which just takes the original textures, upscales them uh, with, uh, you know, uh, like ESRGAN, AI upscaling. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, that's a lot of Ice Warriors. Let's, uh, let's fall back, because that's going to be extremely painful. Come, my donkey. Run! Get behind the front lines! Oh no, donkey! Come on! Run, you fool! Fly, you fools! Okay, uh, let's seal up the donkey. And then let's summon our creatures, because we need some more critters to tank here. Wait, what? what? I'm pretty sure I do have. Selected. There we go. Okay. And then let's switch back to offensive. Let's drink some mana potions. And let's get attacking. Okay, strong McJohn's getting beaten up pretty good. Let's heal. Come back here and focus these guys down. We've got uh, both the melee and the ranged ice warriors. Nice. Well handled, party. Well handled. Heal up, donkey. Good stuff. Good stuff. That went better than I, I thought it might, actually. Kuro says, so I decided to play a bit of Pokemon Infinite Fusion. What's Infinite Fusion again? I found a WoW Fusion with an incredibly unfortunate name. Okay, it fuses Pokemon together, I guess. It's a fusion between Prime Ape and Rayquaza. Yeah, fair enough. Yep, that would be a very unfortunate name. I bet you there are a number like that that, uh, that pop up when uh, pairing, you know, mashing together Pokemon names algorithmically. Uh, I could definitely imagine. So it looks like we've got a little side path here, maybe. Uh, kind of into the darkness here. Don't know if this, I don't think this is the main path. What might we find? Oh, a little exit from the cave. Oh gosh, but Ice Warriors all up in this. Holy cow. At least they're all attacking strong with John and Gjorn, who are pretty strong, as the name would suggest, so they can definitely tank it. Nice. Well done, party, well done. Uh, Octo, what's up? Octo, I'm glad you could join us after all. Octo says, sorry I'm late. 
Uh, tonight, no worries, was watching the footy and the Wellington Phoenix managed to draw against Melbourne victory in an epic top-of-the-table clash that leaves us, Wellington, on top of the table. I don't know what that means, but I'm happy for you. Crazy thing is we were down to 10 men for most of the game and equalized it in the 95th minute from a penalty. I think this is probably a good thing, I'm guessing. Uh, and I'm glad that your team is on top of the table. <laughs> uh, that is very good. Yo, what's going on here? And I'm glad you were able to join us. Oh, this is cool as heck. What is this? It's kind of a shrine. But we can't get there yet. There's something there. A chest. A fancy chest. Find a way to get there. Oh wait, maybe we can get there from here. This looks like a corresponding shrine. Maybe. Uh oh. Oh wait, what? Yo. Yo. This thing just came up out of the out of the earth. Oh, uh, and there's another one over there. Okay, this looks like a multi-part puzzle. So like a big pressure plate. At first I thought it was going to be an elevator and that we were going to get, uh, like the party was going to get separated with some of them going down the elevator, but it looks like it's actually just a pressure plate, which activated this piece right here, which lifted up out of the earth. Look at this dude. Look at this. He looks kind of upset that we just walked into his mouth slash torso. But I think we're probably going to have to activate more like that in order to reach this chest. It's a little environmental puzzle. It's pretty fun. Uh, Octus said, I'm not even in Wellington right now. People are setting off fireworks. <laughs> nice. Uh, I guess you got some Wellington fans in nearby then. That's exciting. Donkey. That's right, we gotta watch out for our donkey. Steal that go. Top of the league. Is that a common occurrence for Wellington or is this like a underdog story? Like a comeback after many years? Or does Wellington generally do quite well? Steel Neko says uh, Shinjukun is a baby otter with a bowl of noodles on his head who is the tourism mascot for the town of Susaki. Or Susaki. Uh, John Oliver made him a mascot friend. Chi John. A middle aged baby otter with glasses and a comedy show. <laughs> That's very good. That's very good. That's quite fun. Uh, Kuro says, also, Nick, Pokemon Infinite Fusions is a free fan game. It's basically just, basically, basically just the first two generations of Pokemon, but you can fuse them together to get some wild combinations. That sounds rad. They've also added a bunch of Pokemon from future gens, such as your personal favorite, Rock Ruff slash Lycan Rock. That sounds like a good time. The concept of Poke Fusions is something I'm honestly surprised that that uh, Game Freak hasn't done this gimmick yet. Alright. Uh, let's re up our. Uh, oops. What am I doing here? Our orbs. time to our uh, orbs on our mages there. So they'll last for a while. Alright, let's keep going. A 
lots of these little flies, eh? Hey? All over the place. Oh, not enough mana. Let's fix that. I see lots of ice warriors in the distance there. Oh, and a frost nid. Little spider guy. Okay, before we go aggroing everyone else, let's summon our critters. There we go. Alright. Let's do a little quick save. And let's go deal with these. These guys over here. Gotta heal strong with John here and Gjorn. Oh, we have an ice mage back here. I only just noticed. Time to murder. <laughs> oh. Thank you for continuing that gift sub that you uh, were given by Rex, by Rex Sterling. I appreciate the uh, re-up, Zuklin Fuffer. Um, Octo says, Wellington is usually quite mediocre, and in generally, New Zealand football is quite bad. So the Wellington Phoenix managing to be at the top of the league and even drawing against a very wealthy club is pretty unheard of. Okay, I can see why you're so hype about it then. That definitely sounds like a fun, come from behind kind of underdog story, which is always fun to pull for, especially if they're the local team. Pardon me. Your best season yet by far. Nice. Mr. Sky has feelings about New Zealand football. <laughs> I have no uh, stake in this, so, <laughs> you know, you know, I'll let you guys fight it out <laughs> in a good natured way, I'm sure. I didn't have our mages on attack mode, so everything's going slow here. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Not a problem. Donkey, just hanging out back there. Oh boy. They kind of ambush you, they come out of the ice. Orb is attempting to attack some dudes here. Feels kind of brutal attacking those ice mages. Oh wait, where'd this one come from? Because they're like a humanoid creature. Which is I think the only humanoid creature we've fought so far. Oh crap, ice flies, where are they coming from? We fought other humanoid creatures, but not that are quite so human. They just look straight up. 
witchy looking folks. Oh boy, I see a lot of dudes up ahead. Let's uh, take a moment to regroup here. Uh, sure, we'll deal with this guy. But let's wait for the mana to regen. And we also gotta cast some, uh, uh, re-up our orbs and our summons as well before we go into this fight, I think. Oh, no worries, you can vote for I don't know, it just told me, it told me that you're continuing your sub, so whatever that means. That's all good, though. You said Prime doesn't work anymore. It should. And maybe it did work and you just didn't, didn't know, because it did say you're continuing your sub. Uh, <laughs> I just love these, these New Zealanders talking about foot, footy. I don't know. I don't know what any of it means, but I'm glad you're excited about it. Uh, Kuro says, I haven't kept up with anything sports related since I lived with my parents. If only because my father isn't constantly around to tell me about the next OU game. one I think it's got extra health and like a special light aura around it it will die like the rest see it's got this light ray shining down on it did it drop anything special some alloy gun guys. Oh, this is getting rough. Alright, heal up Yorn here. Alright. Poor Yorn's getting turned into a... Oh, and Strong McJohn. Getting turned into pin cushions by these archers over here. Look at all the freaking arrows in them. Scorn and low run just leveled up. Whew, this is just kind of relentless, eh? Okay, let's fall back again. Let's get some heals out. Okay, you know what? I think low run might be uh, his AI set differently than the rest of the party. Let's set them to engage but attack freely within the area and target closest. Let's try that. Now I think everyone should be on the same party AI. Also, let's go pick up all this stuff and drop it back here. Deal with these creepy crawly ice spiders. A little quick save you save. re-up those orbs. Alright, there we go. Yo! 
we just got a raid coming in from Nat Natchim. Natchim. Thank you so much for the raid. I recognize some names here. Felipe, Milwaukee. I recognize a lot of you folks from Amy Pie streams. Natchim, Natchi Raid. Thank you so much for coming on in here. Welcome, welcome. Naga, thank you for gifting your sub to Natchim. Let me know if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I apologize if I am. But uh, Natchim, I don't think I'm following you yet. But let's go fix that right now. Natchim, what do you stream, if I may ask? Do you stream ASMR? Do you do uh, general sort of variety gaming? Um, I hit that follow though. Whatever it is you stream, I'm here for it. And I appreciate the raid so very much. Welcome on in, Raiders. Welcome on in. Not ASMR. You are loud. <laughs> All right. That's okay. I appreciate you coming on in here anyway. And uh, I'm going to shout out. Uh, if y'all want someone loud, <laughs> uh, I see a whole bunch of stuff here. It looks like you're playing, I don't know, what is this? Uh, maybe some DVD, some other stuff. I'm just trying to figure out what you've been streaming. Anyway, thank you for coming on in. Thank you so much for bringing your folks on over here to join us. Uh, as you can tell, as you probably know, we're all about the quiet gaming around here. My name's Nick. I'm the ASMR nerd. I do, you know, nerdy ASMR stuff. And it is a pleasure to have you all here. Like I said, I recognize a lot of the names that came on in with that, uh, with that raid. So, you do DBD? Okay, that makes sense. That's why, uh, I, looks like you, uh, been streaming some recently. How was your stream? It's a pleasure to have you here. You guys up to? What were you guys up to tonight? Thank you again for coming on with that right And Naga, sorry, I don't think I properly thanked Naga for gifting that sub to Natchim. Natchim, welcome on into the sub club. Here we call our subscribers Potato Pals. Potato Pals. Or Spud Buds, whatever you prefer. You have been blessed with the spinning potato emote, amongst others. But the spinning potato is a popular one. You do love ASMR, though. You follow the whole gang. <laughs> All the uh, Twitch ASMR crew. Uh, it's wonderful to have you uh, following us now or joining us for the raid. Thanks for coming on in. Um, uh, it is correct. Natchim is correct. You were streaming some Cult of the Lamb tonight. That's fun. You also play Texas Chainsaw Massacre, a lethal company. So like a uh, multiplayer survival style. Maybe that's not quite the word, like a horror, survival horror. I don't know what you call that, that genre. But I know, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Nix knows nothing. Ask if I have played Lethal Company. I have not. Uh, I am vaguely aware of it, but I have not played it myself, no. Cult of the Lamb is another one that I am a little more aware of, I guess. Uh, I've seen more gameplay, but I've also not played myself. But it does look pretty fun. Yo, what's up, that boy Jovi? How you doing? Uh, Octo! Octo coming in with that 20 month, 21 month reset. It'd be great if I could speak, pronounce. Also, it occurs to me I forgot to put my my mic covers back on. Uh, Octo, thanks for the resub. Welcome back for another month. Always a pleasure having you in the sub club. Getting dangerously close. To that. Ooh, did you hear that? That was my my knuckles. <laughs> dangerously close to that 20 month that pardon me that two year mark you just hit the 21 month mark dangerously close to the two years though 
Uh, Octo, thanks again for the amazing support. Your incredible enthusiasm for being a generally really cool dude uh, for a very long time here now and hanging out with us. Hanging out with us. You love them potatoes. You love them potatoes. Dot Hacker, no worries. No worries. You're slightly late for the raid, but you made it here and that's what matters. Uh, I've got a potato that I tap on here. I have a secret to share with you all. Many of you know this. Some of you probably don't though, especially the new arrivals. But I'll share it with you now to avoid future disappointment. This potato is not real. It's a fake potato. But it's a very convincing fake potato. And so a lot of people think it's real. <laughs> I'm just being upfront. I'm being transparent about my potato, okay? Uh, dead boy Jovi, I am doing well. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Natchim says, I actually hate horror. Started playing to get over the fear. Now that is cool. That is a neat way of going about it. Exposure therapy. Have you played any of the uh, Amnesia games? Those are scary. Uh, Octo, what's going on here, my guy? Octo out there gifting subs to Just Hoop Joe and to Bradshaw as well. Just random acts of awesome kindness. Octo, thank you so much for gifting those subs uh, to two awesome folks, Just Hoop Joe and Bishaw. Into the sub club. I do hope that you enjoy your subscription benefits just like Natchum uh, gifted that sub so kindly by Nega as well. And Octo to just Hoop Joe and Bisha. We're celebrating celebrating those subs with more potato taps. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, Octo, thank you. Thank you for the kindness. Thank you for making those people's days, hopefully. Uh, Dead Boy Jovi says, I was about to say, did you guys hear that? It's windy outside and snowy. I think that was some icy snow hitting the window. Either that or it's the, the spooky monsters outside the window coming to get me. Dead Boy Jovi was about to ask how that potato has not gotten moldy yet. Now you know my secrets. Uh, Octo says, generally, genuinely so glad and grateful for you, Nick. Oh man, we love you here too, Octo. Uh, what a community. Looking forward to many more years being a part of it. And we love having you here, so I hope that you are with us for as many years uh, as, I, as I'm doing this, which is hopefully a long time, a long time to come. I'm going to pour out the rest of my beer here the rest of my beer. Get some nice fizzy sounds going on. Finish this up. Amnesia is so spooky, right? So spooky. Hollow clips, what's up? What's up? Um Mr. Sky has requested a whispered trigger. Has requested the whispered trigger Phoenix. 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 This has something to do with the footy that you were talking about, right? Phoenix. 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 Is that the Wellington team? The Wellington Phoenix. I could be, I could be totally wrong about that because I do not know anything about New Zealand footy or in fact any footy of any kind. Therefore, I apologize. I've probably offended some already by putting the words Wellington and Phoenix together. Oh, it is the Wellington Phoenix. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> no, Octo's mad. Oh, no. Maybe not. No, he's excited. He said it is the Wellington Phoenix. Okay, good. I'm glad I got that right. That's ex an excitement raw, I'm pretty sure. Okay. That's like a raw, raw, raw. Not like a raw, I'm gonna eat you. Um, did we ever actually get that shout out for Natchim? I thought we did, but maybe I, I, I said it, but maybe I didn't do the actual shout out. Oh, I did do it. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure. I want to make sure. Good. Sometimes I say it, but then I forget to actually type the shout out in. 
oftentimes the mods will get it, but I'm pretty sure the mods are all asleep right now because it's kind of late. We're late into the stream. We're coming up on the four hour mark, so. I'm glad that was a happy raw. I'm glad it was a happy raw. New Zealand mentions raw. Uh, what was the word? Phoenix. Phoenix, Phoenix, Phoenix is the trigger word requested of Phoenix. But in the New Zealand context, the Wellington Phoenix, not Phoenix, Arizona, not Phoenix, the mythological creature, rather the Wellington Phoenix. Congratulations to the Wellington of Phoenix for their success in the league. Did I say it right? Is that correct? Did I use the right terminology? For being at the top of the league. Uh, Nick Snow's Nothing also requested some beer lore. Yeah, tonight I'm drinking this stuff right here. Mountain Bluebird Belgian Wit from Lillouette Brewing, Lillouette Brewing Company. It's got these two cute bluebirds on the front. The mountain bluebird is, of course, a bird native to British Columbia uh, and probably local to Lillouette. Lillouette is a town, a very small town here in British Columbia, Canada, on the eastern side of the Coast Mountains, so in the interior of British Columbia. And uh, that's where this beer is from. And the lore on the beer reads, A Belgian wheat beer made for bluebird days. I don't know what a bluebird day is. And the beer offers no explanation. The mountain bluebird pours a brilliant sunny yellow with fine pure white foam. Orange peel and coriander seed bring playful citrus and spice aromas to this refreshing ale. There you go. And it does indeed have a lovely citrusy element and some of that coriander underneath it. It's pretty good. It's, uh, you know, a Belgian style. If you're not familiar with the Belgian wit, it's uh, a bit sweet. It's um, got... Yeah, definitely some of that spiciness underpinning it from the coriander, but also just the natural flavor of that style of beer. Not spicy, like hot spicy, but like a spiciness, like a, a aromatic element. It's hard to describe, but uh, Belgian wit is a fairly popular style. Um, I think the shock top, is that it? It's very popular. Uh, what's the other one? There's a really popular Belgian wheat beer. Um, Blue Moon. Yeah. Yeah, Belgian white. Often served with a slice of orange, commonly. That's citrus. Uh, Shock Top is another. Yeah, that was correct. Uh, but they're, they're pretty, pretty popular. Uh, similar style. All oh, says you always got fire beers. Thanks. I always try to come up with something that's kind of fun to look at, fun to try. This is the first time I've tried this one. So we have so many amazing breweries in this part of the world. It's easy for me to find a different beer every stream that I've never tried before. Bluebird Day is like a clear sky kind of day. Huh, I've never heard that term before. But that makes sense. It definitely has a good summery flavor to it. It can be a really nice hot day sipping kind of beer. Um, but yeah, it's a popular style for a good reason. It's tasty. Anyway, Nix, there's your beer lore. Your beer lore. Uh, Natchim, thank you again for joining us here. I appreciate you coming on in with your crew. Uh, and hanging out with us. Uh, have a wonderful night. Uh, thanks for, for chilling with us for a little bit. I hope you sleep well. I hope you have a restful sleep. And uh, have a fantastic rest of your week. And I hope we see you back here again sometime. Thanks again for coming on in. Uh, take care. Sleep well. Nighty night. Uh, all right. 
so uh, we were asked what we're playing here. We actually haven't played since the raid. We are playing an old game called the Dungeon Siege. Dungeon Siege. This is a, an RPG, action RPG on PC. Came out way back in 2002. You control a party of adventurers, and you're basically rolling through this world, fighting monsters. And it's a favorite of mine from that era. I played it back in the day, and it's it's very nostalgic, very comfy, cozy kind of game for me. So every once in a while, I, I bust it out here on stream. We are in the ice caverns right now, way up in the mountains. And uh, this is especially appropriate because it's icy and cold here right now, very snowy outside. So put me in a mood for uh, a snowy kind of game. So I just paused the combat here. We're in the middle of beating up some these ice flies, they call them ice flies. Let's finish this combat here. Just gotta watch my crew doling out destruction. And make sure that other health is going down too low. Too low. Uh, yo, oh my gosh! King Rex T414 Anthony, how are you? It has been it has been a dang long time. <laughs> what is up? It's been a thousand years. How have you been? What's new with you? Happy 2024. Hope the year is treating you well. Uh I like the texture effect. There's like it looks like fog flowing down this wall. It's actually really cool. It has been too long. It's been like I don't know, many, many, many months. What's new with you? Uh, and Nix, you are most welcome for the beer lore. The beer lore. Uh, Anthony, you've arrived at a, a quiet time for the most part. Well, we're late into the stream here, almost four hours in. So chat's, chat's pretty chill, pretty quiet right now. But we did just have a raid. Which was fun. Met some new peeps. Always nice. Uh, and we're playing some some dungeon siege, which you probably just heard me talk about. But it's a fun old game that I really enjoy. It's very nostalgic and cozy for me. Speaking of nostalgic and cozy, y'all. Uh, some of you might remember, or might know, I got a Steam Deck a little while ago, the OLED model. And um, I've been having a blast putting both modern games and retro games on there. But the other day I I got Morrowind up and running on there. <laughs> and it's everything I could have ever wanted. I It's just so awesome to me. That we live in a day and age where, I mean, like, yeah, sure, it's a 22 year old game, so running it on a mobile, like, handheld piece of hardware is not that impressive. It's obviously very old. If yeah, I really wanted, I could have had it running on my phone for quite some time now, I think, through OpenMW, but still, something about having, like, a modded version of Morrowind running at, like, 90 frames per second, looking gorgeous on an OLED handheld. Something about that is really cool, you know, as as a nerd and a lifelong, lifelong, but long time Morrowind fan, uh, that's awesome. That that is the spot. Conceptually, I think it's fantastic. So, um, yeah, that was really cool. Obviously, I could put Oblivion on there if I wanted. I could put Skyrim on there if I wanted. Um, but I already have Skyrim on my Switch, so that's a little less impressive, I guess. But something about having old-ass Morrowind <laughs> in the palm of my hand. I just I keep thinking back. I'm like, oh man, 14-year-old Nick would have his mind blown by this. <laughs> Absolutely. Mind blown. And it's great because I often play my Steam Deck uh, 
like at uh, at night, like before bed, it's kind of a wind down activity. And so having a, a nostalgic game like that. Ooh, perfect timing. We did need more mana for our casters here. Having a nostalgic, comfy game like Morrowind to play is pretty amazing. I will say though, oops, I did not mean to drink mana. That was there we go. Um, why is Morrowind out of mana potions? Oh, he is. Let's fix that. Let's fix that. Uh, there's a button to here we go. Distribute mana to all of your characters. Nice. We're actually kind of running out of mana potions for our casters here. That's no good. Usually you get them so fast, but I do have a, I do have a spell that can transmute, um, can transmute items uh, into mana potions. I'm pretty sure. So maybe I should use that uh, and turn some of my junk items into potions. Uh, Anthony says, I've been working a lot of nights, but everything is going very well. I've been traveling, seeing my girlfriend, going to start going for my commercial pilot's license. Yo, congrats. That's, that sounds awesome. And I've been going to NASCAR races. Excellent. <laughs> I'm glad you're still, still living it up. Loving, loving the life. That's fantastic. Living your best life. That's what I'm going for. Uh, that's great. Sounds like you are thriving it is great to see you again and yeah i know it's tough to make it out to these streams especially if you're working a lot of nights but it is awesome to see you back here my friend uh what we got here uh jariah's trading post is off that direction and back this way must point to glacier and where we came from right yeah they put these uh these signposts in here every once in a while just as, uh, I think, just sort of a reminder of where you're headed and where you've come from and to, to let you know that, uh, you know, you're still on the right path. Not that there's that many other paths that one could really take here. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty linear, but that's okay. Um, and you know what, friends? I think... I think it's probably time for me to call it for tonight. It's getting pretty late for me. It's like 1.40 in the a.m. And I do have work tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it's like almost 4.45 for you, Anthony. Being on the East Coast, yes, makes it even more difficult. That's why so many people here are asleep right now, I think. This is pretty late for most people. Um, and I do work tomorrow, so... I'd better wrap it up. I'd better wrap it up. 3.42 in the a.m. for Naga. Sleep time. Sleep time if you're on a regular healthy schedule. Uh, 11 p.m. in New Zealand. <laughs> uh, which is funny that it's late for you, uh, about a whole day ahead. And almost 5 a.m. for Hollow Clips. Yikes. Definitely some sleep unless you've already slept maybe you're just waking up i don't know i don't know anthony says i'm up early because i had to take my fam to the airport for 5 50 flight there you go so you've had at least a chance to sleep i hope 11 a.m though for so confirm. <laughs> it's really cool actually we get people from all over the world here all kinds of different time zones uh it's neat that y'all make it out y'all find a, a way to make some time to, to come hang out here as I was saying earlier in the stream when I was uh, opening up those amazing cards from, from Drake and from Kez uh, it's very special it's very special what we have here it means the world to me thank you all for being a part of it for uh, choosing to spend your precious time hanging out here making this community a better place uh, just by being here. Uh, you all contribute your own uniqueness uh, to what we have here, and I, I look forward to seeing each and every one of your 
you know your usernames uh i would say your faces but i don't know what your face don't know what your faces look like but your usernames in the chat uh every stream so with that let's wrap it up for tonight but before i say good night to you all or good day good morning whatever it is for you let's go find someone to rate we are the recipients of some uh lovely rates here tonight uh and it would be great to pass on the good vibes so who's streaming who's streaming uh but who's not rerunning that's always the challenge it's finding people who are streaming but not rerunning uh pisces is streaming pisces raided us a little while ago and that was lovely but pisces usually has the raids turned off so I'm going to guess that we are not going to be able to rate Pisces, but I will try. I will try. One of these days it'll work. I believe. I believe. No. <laughs> Raid's on. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, who else is streaming? Uh, Busy Bunny. Let's go raid Busy. You guys know we love Busy Bunny around these parts. What am I favorite ASMR streamers here on Twitch. She is super, super nice. Her streams are really, really cozy uh, and just fantastic vibes. And she has an awesome community as well. So let's go Raid Busy. That's an easy choice. I always like Raid Busy. Uh, there we go. Let's do it. Uh, Dot Hacker says Pi turns the raids off 30 minutes before closing time. Okay, it must be that every time I go to raid, then it's 30 minutes before closing time for, for Pisces. Uh, which, fair enough. It's kind of that time of night, right? So, uh, that time of night, right? Did I say that right? I think I did. A bit of a tongue twister. Uh, friends, pile on in if you are on the Twitch side of things. The Twitch side of things. Uh, you are already uh, going to come on this raid. All I got to do is just hang out with us in the chat. If you're on the YouTube side of chat. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. I missed some people there. I missed Anthony over on YouTube. I missed MKF as well. Rogue Pogue uh, and Shane uh, who sang good night as well. I, I didn't have the YouTube stream up for the last bit there. I apologize. I'm still getting used to juggling the two chats, but I appreciate you being here, whichever and the things you're from, uh, whether it's the, the Twitch side, the YouTube side. Love having you here. If you're on the YouTube side and you want to join us for the raid, come on over to Twitch. We'll be heading over there in about 20 seconds to go hang out with Busy Money and her awesome community. Y'all, I'll see you on Sunday for another stream. A huge thanks to our wonderful moderators and a huge thanks to all 